American Comics, My Dad is Batman Author, Liu Pai, Chapter 151 Alien Creatures. Please order the full version, please customize, without large-scale mechanical operations. Demolition by armor is actually very slow. It would be too difficult to open the special wall, which is tens of meters thick, unless it is operated by heavy machinery. Dozens of armors dug for half an hour just broke this thing open. Skynet sent the armor in to see what these people are doing. Are you waiting to die in there? Under the control of Skynet, several pieces of armor walked directly into the innermost room. After a while, Skynet's voice sounded again. The armor has lost contact. Jason frowned. Is it due to signal interference? It's not signal interference. The armor signal was suddenly cut off. The signal transmission unit inside the body is damaged. Skynet's voice was calm. Didn't the final image of the armor come out? Jason asked again. No valuable information came out. All armors were destroyed in an instant. Skynet's voice sounded again. Interesting. It seems like this should be the trump card of the Hydra gang. Jason muttered to himself. Then he spoke again. Skynet, activate defense mode. I'll go in and see for myself. He is equipped with a large number of nanorobots. Even if a lot has disappeared, there are still many. It can completely transform the armor into a more powerful form. Defense mode. In fact, it is becoming huge. Probably like Tony Stark's anti-Hulk mecha. But the performance is all about defense. 50 mm thick special alloy mecha can withstand almost any external attack. The proven armor of active main battle tanks is this level. Not to mention, there is also a thin layer of reactive armor on the surface. Can explode upon contact with an attack. Resist a large part of the power. Jason thinks, this armor on my body, Thanos's broadsword can resist one attack. On earth except for the ancient one. No one should be able to break his outer armor. Even if he goes in by himself. He is not afraid. Under the control of Skynet, nanorobots assemble very quickly. It doesn't take a while. Jason has become a behemoth. It's more than three meters high and a lot thicker. He strode directly through the large hole made by the armor and entered the innermost room, just took two steps. Then I heard a voice coming from Skynet. The mecha was attacked and its surface armor was damaged. 83% penetration of surface armor. Jason was shocked at that time. What the hell is this? 50 mm thick alloy armor. Almost got penetrated. What is the concept of 50 mm alloy armor? The main material of the nanorobot is special grade gold titanium alloy steel which is also doped with vibranium or from Wakanda. Vibranium he traded from the king of Wakanda. Basically it was hit on it. A battle armor composed of nanorobots of about 10 millimeters. In terms of defensive power, it is definitely comparable to Captain America's shield. This is equivalent to five layers of shield superimposed together. But this thing was penetrated by someone in a single encounter. Wouldn't Captain America be doomed if he took such a beating? Fortunately, the creature that attacked him didn't seem to have any other abilities. After attacking him, leave quickly, Skynet. Can you detect what kind of creature it is? According to speculation, this creature has powerful stealth capabilities. It has optical invisibility, electromagnetic invisibility, low-light electronic invisibility and invisibility measures. It most likely has 8 to 12 jointed limbs, which are extremely penetrating. With strong aggression and strong IQ, it is recommended to evacuate temporarily. Skynet's analysis report was sent out quickly. Jason sneered. Evacuate. Evacuation just wasn't his style. Block the passage disintegrate the surface armor and disperse the nanorobots, Jason said with a sneer. Invisible? This kind of ability is really unsolvable no matter how wide the space is. It can't be beaten. If you run away, it's impossible to find this thing. But being invisible in a confined space? Wouldn't he be a fool if he couldn't find it? You can become invisible, but can you make your body disappear out of thin air? He caused the nanobots to disperse throughout space. Unless this thing can open different spaces at will like the ancient one. Otherwise, it would be impossible to escape during his investigation. Because there are no more hallucinogenic spores here. Jason even opened his helmet. Just to stay sharp, his reaction speed is much faster than that of the armor. Tony Stark is the loser who needs armor support. He doesn't need it at all. There was a sneer on the corner of his mouth. Jason waited for the creature to reveal itself. Sudden, Jason felt palpitations in his heart. Then subconsciously avoided it. Six thumb thick pits had appeared in his place. I also felt a tingling sensation on my body. At this time. The reminder from Skynet came over, warning, danger, dangerous, no, not dangerous at all. A sinister smile appeared on Jason's face. The muscles in the body exert force, directly clamp a limb that penetrated his body, then give it a little push. The unknown monster's jointed limbs were torn off directly by him. Hiss. There was a sharp neighing in the air. Jason's eardrums felt a twinge of pain. Ha, huh, look at you. Jason laughed ferociously and grabbed the invisible creature. Even the severe pain caused by the arthropod stabbing on his body was as if he was not aware of it. Just let this creature attack. His hands touched both sides of the creature's body. Use both arms. The monster was torn in half by him. Wait until after death. Only then did the monster emerge. Only then did he see the smooth jointed limbs wrapped around his arm. This monster looks like an octopus. But it has a black carapace on its body. The black chitin carapace wraps the whole body of this monster. Monster. Make it look quite mysterious. The dark carapace, 
I don't know what it is, looks very deep. It's as if even light can be absorbed. The ten jointed limbs are full of a strange beauty, gives off a metallic luster. There are still signs of breakage on it. It's as if these limbs have been broken. Skynet, what kind of creature is this? Jason looked at the octopus. Search your mind for any relevant creatures. But nothing was gained. He couldn't even figure out where this thing was. This organism has not been found in Earth's biobanks. There are also a lot of unknown elements in the composition of its body. Master, this should be an alien creature, and there are traces of the body's genes being modulated. Dan Wang's surprised voice sounded next to him. Jason also had a look of understanding on his face. Dot. Chapter 152 Son of Zola. Please order the full version. Please customize it. The Marvel world is a very large world. There are various civilizations in the universe. The Kree, Skrulls, Nova Corps and other interstellar forces are all very famous. Although in the eyes of alien planets, the Earth is just an unknown small planet. But it doesn't mean that there are no things in the universe that come to the Earth due to some accidents. Not to mention as good controlled by Odin. They have always regarded the Earth as a subsidiary force. Every now and then I would go to Earth to find something to do. There are also many others who came to Earth due to various forces. Aliens, minerals, spaceships and other alien products. Some of, naturally, this also includes alien creatures. The thing found in the final laboratory is from an alien creature that fell to the Earth. According to Hydra information, this biological base, it was even built for this creature. This creature was seriously injured when it fell to the Earth. Then he was discovered by Hydra people. Immediately confine it as a treasure and let it be studied. Almost all the biological weapons in the base were developed based on this thing. Only, now, this creature has turned into a corpse, too dead to be dead anymore. Jason was observing the biological specimens in the sample cabin. Skynet's voice rang. Master. The only survivor of 487 is awake. Oh, come over and have a look. Jason glanced at it, then turned and left. Skynet has already sent armored personnel to search this room. The result surprised him. There's only one guy here who's half dead. Everyone else is dead. And the death was very cruel. There are even signs of being eaten. Jason thinks that this thing may be used to repair limbs. Treat humans as a source of nutrition. But this is just his guess. What is the truth? What does the last survivor of this base have to say? Soon, he came to the location of the survivor. This researcher looks to be in his 60s or 70s. It's a miracle that he survived. A large part of the bones in the body were directly crushed. There are many kinds of damage to the organs. Just this kind of pain alone can kill an average person to death. But this man was able to hold on until he arrived. It's incredible. Jason arrived in front of this person, he asked, staring at the opening of the white coat. Who are you? The white coat glanced at Jason, a glimmer of light flashing in his eyes. Then he spoke. Sabraham Zola. Ahem. Zola? Jason frowned. What is the relationship between Dr. Zola and you? Jason asked. There was something strange on Abraham's face. According to your understanding, he should be regarded as my father. But in this world, I am just a test product that he cultivated using his genetic material. The corners of Jason's mouth twitched. A good gene transfer material. Turns out to be Dr. Zola's son. No wonder genetic technology is so powerful. And also joined Hydra. After thinking about it, Jason no longer considered whether he was Hydra. Asked directly. What is that creature? We call it the Stinger. It's an alien creature discovered in Antarctica. Cough cough cough. Abraham Zola coughed twice and said. The guys at Hydra discovered it under the Antarctic ice sheet ten years ago. There is also a badly damaged alien spacecraft. This base is built on these alien technologies. Abraham Zola seemed to have no intention of hiding anything. He said directly and honestly. Hydra? Aren't you from Hydra too? Jason asked. No. I'm just cooperating with them. Everything I do is for the betterment of mankind. After speaking, a glimmer of light flashed in Abraham's eyes, looking very sacred. A disdainful smile appeared on Jason's face. To make human beings a better place, can we use others as experimental materials? Can it violate all human morals? These are just necessary sacrifices, Abraham Zola said seriously. CGCC, Jason suddenly felt that these words seemed familiar. Think about it. He and remembered who had said similar words. That's right. It's the ultimate villain. Comrade Thanos. He also used destiny as an excuse to eliminate half of the population of the universe. But anyone on Earth who went to high school knows that. When did population grow most rapidly? That's right. That's when the population is only half. So, Thanos is just illiterate. I'm afraid his words are more selfish. If you follow the wrong theory, doesn't it mean that as long as you have a noble project, you can kill people at will? After killing someone, you can still disarm and return to the field. Where in the world can such good things happen? What Abraham Zola said is also nonsense. For the betterment of mankind, why don't you show up yourself? To put it bluntly, she wants to be a bit and also wants to build a memorial arch, just to find an interface for my own selfish desires. Jason had no interest in discussing this with him at all. Okay, stop talking nonsense. Tell me, if you're about to die, just calm down. Where is the spaceship you mentioned? Jason asked, in Hydra's hands. If you want it, go find it. It's a pity that I can't see this scene anymore. What a great research material. After saying that, 
I just burst into tears. Jason couldn't ask anything he wanted to ask. Hear the last words of Abraham's Ola. The corners of Jason's mouth twitched. What the hell is this? Unlucky. Shaked his head. Jason turned and left. At this moment, the system in his mind happened again. Encountering native people of the world. In extraction technology. Due to your sensor authority, you can choose one of the following three techniques. Lurk at type 2 modulation technology. First class civilization biomodification technology. Spit your ionization biomodulation technology. When Jason heard this, he was stunned for a moment, then rejoiced. Looking at the guy in front of him, his eyes became more and more kind. Unexpectedly, this guy, with his humble appearance, can actually produce good things. Unexpectedly, after thinking for a while, Jason checked the technology. This technique is very obvious. The first one is obviously the manufacturing technology of the so-called god assassin. Skynet once said, the genes of this thing have traces of artificial modulation. Now it seems to be true. This is an artificially produced biological weapon. Jason chose this technique without saying a word. Not to mention that this is something created by that civilization. But it is obviously much better than the half-baked product developed by Abraham's Ola. He finally opened up in biotechnology. For the sake of it, Jason spoke. Send this man to Sparks and bury him in public. After saying that, Jason left without any regrets. Dot. Chapter 153 Biological Modulation Please order the full version. Please customize it. Hydra is not really that powerful. The base Jason discovered was just an accident. Everything in this base comes from a damaged spacecraft of an alien civilization. To become so powerful, the other bases are nothing. Skynet's control armor destroyed it. Jason completed his mission and returned to Gotham City. Arrive at your own laboratory. He had nothing to do. He started looking at new technologies. Although there is a system. But Jason doesn't have much research on biochemical technology. His two body strengthening potions were both restructured at the genetic level. In fact. There are no other aspects of the design, but this information is different. It is a comprehensive biomodulation material, involving all aspects. If Jason wants to make it, he still needs to study it carefully. He rubbed his head. Jason whined. Skynet, establish a new project. Biomodulation archives. Jason spoke to Skynet. The project has been saved to your private server. Shall we start purchasing materials now? Skynet asked from the side. No, there are enough materials in the laboratory. Jason stopped the idea of ordering Skynet. Biomodulation technology does not require any special materials. The most consumed are various nutrient solutions. There are a large number of amino acids, proteins, etc. that make up a nutrient solution, which can completely cultivate this kind of biological weapon. This biological weapon is called a lurker. Still very special. Its body is not simply composed of carbon base. Instead of metal seriousness. The civilization in this location is amazing. Created a completely new type of biological cell that is able to assimilate metals to a certain extent. Like the surface carapace of a lurker. Basically, they are composed of a chitin shell with a metal basic structure. While maintaining flexibility. It also has outstanding flexibility. Very incredible. Jason guessed. This civilization should have developed to a very outstanding point in biotechnology. But I just don't know which civilization it is. Neither the Kree nor several other interstellar civilizations are good at biotechnology. He shook his head to get these unrealistic things out of his mind. Jason began to study this biochemical technology carefully. It seems that the lurkers are not very powerful. He casually tore it in half. But using him as a unit to measure combat effectiveness is actually not accurate. His body has been strengthened by serum. Even if it's not as good as Hulk, it's not far behind. The power is very terrifying. It has already broken away from the category of human beings. It would be strange if this biological weapon could withstand his attacks. If he had tens of thousands of dollars, Thanos could kill him. But, it's out of the question. Lurkers are so powerful in terms of stealth and attack power. Naturally, it is impossible to have a strong defense. What Jason likes is the ability to assassinate secretly. If he had had this thing before, he wouldn't have bothered at all. There is still a group of people in Gotham City who are secretly remembering him. I read the technical information for a long time. Jason touched his chin. Skynet, create this instrument based on the data I transmitted to you. Prepare a large amount of culture medium. Making nanoscale metal powders. Jason issued a series of orders. The making of lurkers. They are not egg-laying or viviparous-like creatures on Earth. Rather, it is completely cultivated from the culture medium. Now the instrument creates an environment similar to human amniotic fluid. Mutations are then induced through the targeting of the machine. Finally, this lurker was created. Master, does this creature have the ability to reproduce? Skynet asked curiously. Definitely not. It would be really scary if this thing had the ability to reproduce. If it were really released, the Earth's biosphere would be destroyed. Jason spoke. Lurkers are specially built fighting machines. How could the life evolved through nature be its opponent? Let alone a lion or a tiger. Even large creatures like elephants and rhinoceroses are probably just a dish to lurkers. Once a lurker enters nature, that's almost being able to adapt quickly to the environment. Powerful lethality, coupled with survival ability, it can even survive underwater. Soon, I'm afraid, apart from humans, 
there are no other living things on the earth. Naturally, he wants to restrict the self-reproduction of lurkers at the genetic level. The reproduction of living things is actually a very wonderful process. Please give me flowers. Males and females each produce half of their genetic material. Only then can a new life be formed. But inside the body of the lurker. But there are an odd number of pairs of DNA sequences. No genetic material can be produced at all. Like a mule, it is simply infertile. Naturally, there is no way to reproduce. But soon, Skynet raised a question again. Master. Doesn't this kind of weapon violate human morality? Jason seemed a little surprised to hear this. Skynet was actually able to ask such a question. It's really becoming more and more anthropomorphic. It depends on how you view human morality. No matter how you hide it, human beings are actually very selfish creatures. After all, we are a race where human rights come first. Zero. Under the great precursor again. The rights of other species. It doesn't really matter. Jason smiled. There may be some people who love cats and dogs. But when they castrated these pets, they didn't ask these animals. After all. It's just for your own selfish desires. After thinking for a while, Jason spoke again. Since ancient times, humans have had a tradition of domesticating animals as combat weapons. Whether it's ancient elephant soldiers or cavalry. The rhino rider from Wakanda who still exists. It's all inseparable from various wild preparations. So, these are not violations of our human morality. Jason patiently explained to Skynet. Biological weapons. As long as it is not transformed into humans themselves. In fact, it is not something that is very objectionable to Fang. The people at Definitely Animal Protection may not think so. It's just Jason and these guys who are brainwashed by Bay Izuo who are not very smart. There was no communication. The most animal-loving country in the world. It was the Nazis led by Hitler. They protect animals and then send humans to concentration camps to do various inhumane experiments. Carry out massacre. This is the result of animals' rights being higher than those of humans. We don't talk to these lunatics on the street. If you say... It is against morality. The strengthening potion he used was actually even more unethical. After all, desperate potion has also been tested on humans. Morality, after all, is a matter of benevolence and wisdom. Chapter 154, Modulation, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. The genes of living things are very wonderful things, because humans simply cannot predict what changes will happen to him. Gene mutations are inherently random, and most genetic mutations have no benefit to the body. Humans have never had a truly precise understanding of genes. But, alien civilizations are different. This civilization is good at biotechnology. Already have a very thorough understanding of the genes of living things. They use a special gamma ray generating device. Targeted induction of mutations in purine pairs. Achieve the results they need. Jason asked Skynet to make it. It's this directed mutation induction device. High energy fixed frequency three phase electromagnetic waves induce special strong gamma rays. Can cause genes to mutate very easily. This interstellar civilization is very powerful. Don't know how the experiment was done. 68. They directly experimented with gamma rays of a specific frequency. Able to cause targeted mutations in biological cells. Thus the monster of the learn was born. The manufacture of the device is not difficult. Skynet controls the automated factory very efficiently. Soon the machine was produced. A targeted gene mutator looks a lot like a microscope. It's just that the upper part looks very thick. Inside is an electromagnetic ray generator that can produce high energy rays of various frequencies. Skynet, install the equipment and let's see how the miracle is born. The structure of cells is very simple. The nucleus, cytoplasm, organelles, and cell membrane make up a cell. No doubt, the thing that determines the essence of a cell is the nucleus. But so far, no one knows how the first single-celled organisms emerged. It is also impossible to create a living cell yourself. Of course Jason couldn't do it either. Targeted biogenetic induction of alien civilizations. In fact, it is based on some primitive biological cells. Jason has the body of a lurker. Of course there is no need to go to such trouble. Inside this body, some cells still remain active. Jason can form a complete body through differentiation induction of these cells. Use a microbe pet. Jason quickly successfully extracted a latent cell. Then place it into the nutrient solution. Generally speaking, a single cell cannot reproduce itself in a nutrient solution. They will remain active though. But it does not divide itself. This is what targeted gene mutators do. Under the control of Skynet. The instrument began emitting gamma rays invisible to the naked eye, after these rays enter the cell, genetic material inside cells, that is, the DNA will change, existing carbon-based life, genetic material is either DNA or RNA, alien life is no exception, this is an organism with 53 chromosomes, there are approximately 200,000 genes, 
and the number of base pairs inside each cell exceeds 600 million. This shows the complexity of its genes. Many of these genes are the products of gene splicing after mutagenesis. Very complex and powerful. Jason looked at the screen in front of him nervously. Gene Zeng Ming's changes cannot be seen, but he could see changes in cells under the inducement of a transformer. The fission of this cell seems to be accelerated. The rate of DNA fission is much faster. Jason could see the cells dividing through the screen. In just a few minutes, it went from one cell to several cells. Skynet, record the splitting process. This is a very meaningful process. Current biology community. There are several ways that cells are thought to divide. Mitosis, amatosis, meiosis, etc. Eukaryotic cells generally undergo mitosis. But creatures like lurkers are very special. Other cells undergo mitosis. Genetic material is not evenly distributed at all. But overall it has maintained a very equal level, which is incredible. Skynet, what kind of tissue are these cells? Jason asked suddenly. Cells with different functions and tissues divide in different ways. The division methods of human epithelial connective tissue and muscle tissue are naturally different. Jason was a little curious. What kind of organization does the current split belong to? The database is insufficient and it is difficult to make inferences. The structure of this creature is unlike any known creature on earth. It is impossible to determine the function of the internal tissue structure of its body. Jason also shook his head, too. He thinks too much. The inside of this thing's body doesn't even have the basic structure of living things on earth. How could Skynet possibly deduce this? Shaking his head. Jason began to carefully observe the organization in front of him that was beginning to take shape. This is a piece of white tissue similar to muscle. Jason guessed. The actions of lurkers may be realized through this white organizational structure. The next process is to wait slowly. There was nothing Jason could do. Just waiting for the internal tissues to slowly absorb nutrients and begin to grow slowly. It took about two or three hours. A white lurker appeared inside the culture tank. This lurker looks very fragile. Like a crab that has just shed its shell. The white carapace looks very fragile. Jason knows. This is why its chitinous carapace has not fully evolved. Just add metal powder to it. These highly active cells will integrate the nutrients in the metal powder. Greatly enhance its sturdiness. Skynet. Inject special nutrient solution. This is probably the last step of training. Wait until the adult culture is completed. It is through microelectrodes that the lurker's behavior begins to be manipulated. This ferocious creature, if there is no way to control it, isn't that bad. Inside the lurker, there exists a walnut file size neuron core. This thing, 5.0 is equivalent to the brain of a lurker. It can provide him with enough action instincts and fighting skills. Appearance civilization is achieved by implanting microelectrodes in the body of the lurker. To discharge electricity to stimulate this neuron. To manipulate the behavior of lurkers. When necessary, it can also release huge amounts of electric current, killing lurkers directly. Avoid losing control. It can be said to be very safe. Following Jason's command, Skynet injected a special nutrient solution into the culture tank. The lurkers began to quickly absorb the nutrients and metal elements mixed in it. The lurker's carapace changes at a speed visible to the naked eye. The white quickly turned to black. It began to emit a dangerous metallic sheen. Jason's eyes flashed with excitement. Lurkers. The modulation was successful. Dot. Chapter 155. Going to Mars. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Time flies. A week passes in the blink of an eye. It's been a long time since Jason created biological weapons. At the moment. The lurker was wrapped around his arm. Only, the current lurker only has a slap file size. Not only does it not look fierce, it also looks a little cute. But Jason didn't dare to underestimate the little creature on his arm. When I just came out of the culture tank, his arms were covered with scars. If he hadn't drained slowly, this thing will never be so honest. Lurkers due to their body structure. In fact, IQ is not very high. At most, he is a little smarter than the pet cats and dogs at home, not up to human level. Therefore, after various feedback training, this lurker has become much more honest. Jason tested it. Don't look at this thing now sitting on his arm. But as long as Jason gives the order, he can become a complete body in an instant. Exert powerful lethality. After 26 Jason's modulation, the power of the lurker's limbs is greatly increased and can even easily pierce shields made of pure vibranium. Very scary. Jason decided to take this thing with him everywhere. Can be used as a trump guard at critical moments. He touched the lurker on his hand, causing him to squirm. Jason will come over. Skynet, you said that the transformation of the Mars base has been completed, right? That's right, Master. Two days ago, a message came from Mars. The ecological survival base has been transformed. You can go for acceptance. There is also our spaceport. You should also go and see it. Skynet said in a calm voice. Jason touched his chin. He really should go to Mars. This should have been a very easy thing. If it is on the Earth or in the outer space of the Earth, everything won't be such a hassle. Pity. In order to avoid detection by Earth civilization, he placed his base on Mars, which is the most suitable place. This creates a big problem. Communication issues. It is known. Even on Earth. You want to make a call to someone on the other side of the world. All are transferred through satellite, and there is a certain delay. 
Mars is a full 55 million kilometers away from the Earth. What a concept. It only takes 40,000 kilometers to circle the Earth once on the equator. To go from the Earth to Mars is equivalent to circling the Earth more than a thousand times. Moreover, this is when Mars' orbit is closest to the Earth. In fact, the planets in the solar system are constantly moving around the Sun. When Mars is farthest from Earth, it may be able to reach 400 million kilometers. This is a distance that an ordinary person cannot imagine. This distance, even with light, would take several hours to travel. Not to mention the electromagnetic waves that transmit information. Therefore, there is a very large delay in communication between Earth and Mars. Don't even think about video calls. Jason wanted to see how the construction on Mars was going. He could only go and see for himself. This is not easy. The steel armor can reach Mars easily because it is a dead thing. There is no need to eat, breathe, or perform other physiological activities. As long as there is enough energy, it can keep flying. But Jason can't. It is now 2009, and the next closest approach between Earth and Mars is at least a few years away. That is to say, this time he went from Earth to Mars. Even if you say less, you still have to run hundreds of millions of kilometers. Even the steel armor will take several weeks to run. His own words. That takes even more time. No matter what, it will take two or three months. Such a long time. He needs to eat drink water and other physiological activities. This is not a problem that can be solved by a steel armor. He needs to prepare well. Skynet, Bruce and Alfred send a message asking them to come back. Jason spoke because of his actions in Gotham City. He didn't want Bruce to cause trouble. So he booked a trip to Hawaii for the two of them. At this time, they were still enjoying the sunshine and beaches in Hawaii. Jason was going to Mars, so naturally he had to tell these two relatives first. Wait until Skynet sends the message. Jason spoke again. Call Nick Fury. I want to talk to him. Jason waited for a while, and the call was connected directly. Nick Fury's tone on the other end of the phone wasn't very good. I don't know who provoked him. If you have any questions for me, tell me quickly. I'm very busy. I want you a Quinjet. Jason spoke. The Quinjet that Jason was talking about was not an ordinary Quinjet. Instead, it is SHIELD, a large aerial aircraft. The file size is even larger than that of a Boeing 747. It is simply a flying fortress. SHIELD often uses this as their mobile airbase. This thing, even in SHIELD, there isn't much. Hear Jason's words. Nick Fury's face turned dark. What are you thinking about? Do you know how expensive a fighter plane you are talking about is? Sheepskit. I'll trade my armor with you. Jason muttered. There is no aircraft used for long distance navigation on the Earth. Nowadays, Various countries build space vehicles. There are too many scientific research equipments inside. Totally inconsistent with his requirements. So Jason decided to get a Quinjet and modify it himself. Anyway, with anti-gravity technology, there is no problem in heaven. It only needs a little 670 modification to take it over. You can travel internationally. Nick Fury raised his eyebrows when he heard Jason's words. I want two. Two pieces is two pieces. You are the head of a world-class organization. How can I be like a vendor in a vegetable market? Isn't it a shame? Jason said contemptuously. Nick Fury isn't angry either. The value of these two pieces of armor is much greater than that of Quinjet. He has made a lot of money and is not as knowledgeable as Jason. He was in an extremely good mood now that he had been taken advantage of. How about a Quinjet sent to Gotham City for you? Okay, send it to a private airport, and help me get a few tons of special aerospace steel from the space agency. Put it into our deal. Jason spoke. Going on an international voyage. The original aluminum alloy material of the Quinjet is completely inappropriate. That thing is so weak that it can't stand the wind. Like paper. Jason didn't want to risk his life. It is better to use special aerospace steel produced by NASA. Corrosion resistance and impact resistance are very good. You can also take long distance flights in the universe with peace of mind. Nick Fury heard Jason's words and agreed without saying anything. He couldn't deal with Jason's matter anyway, so he simply stopped exploring it. Only, Jason had no intention of hanging up the phone. Dot. Chapter 156 Ideas and Preparations Please order the full version. Please customize. In fact, Jason can hang up the communication after taking the pill. However, he suddenly changed his doctrine. Because, he suddenly remembered. In space navigation, Nick Fury, this bad old man, seems to know more than him. After killing Thanos, it was like he was on vacation in space. The pilot is a very mature spaceship. The various internal life-sustaining technologies are also very mature. Not only does it include artificial gravity and Earth environment simulation, it also includes extravagant entertainment measures. Compared to him who sharpens his skills in battle, it is much better to do it now and change it now. Moreover, this guy's communication technology is also more advanced than his. People don't know where they are in the universe. You can talk to your Skrull brothers on Earth in real time. You can also open videos. That's really advanced. This is a tight fit that makes Jason envious. He plans to ask Nick Fury if he can meet his alien friends. Even if you can't get on the spaceship to learn skills, it would also be great to learn some technology from aliens. Jason coughed and asked. Director Nick Fury, 
I heard something recently. When Nick Fury heard this, he immediately became vigilant. It felt like there was a big word danger on my head. Nick Fury asked with a wary face. What you up to? Well, Director Nick Fury, I heard that you have a lot of friends. I seem to have met some alien friends. Jason's tone became a little disgusting. Nick Fury got goosebumps all over his body. Speak normally. Don't you know aliens too? Nick Fury did not deny it but asked, can that be the same? Asgardians are uneducated. Jason was also filled with tears when he spoke. The people of Asgard are a bunch of illiterate people. Moreover, education level is inversely proportional to strength. In Asgard, people with higher combat prowess have lower levels of education. Odin, the old guy, is better. Looking at Thor, calling him illiterate might be an overstatement, but he didn't understand anything about Asgard's technology. This led to several friends around him doing the same thing. One is more illiterate than the other. That time he communicated with these people for a long time. Absolutely nothing. The system failed to obtain anything of value. Jason gets angry just thinking about it. The Skrulls are different. Although they were beaten by the Grease and ran around like lost dogs. They even need Wonder Woman to find a planet for them to live on but their technology is still much more advanced than the technology on Earth. It is the skills of this group of people that Jason covets. Nick Fury heard Jason's words and didn't speak. After half a day, Tuan said, My friends don't like to meet people. I'll introduce them to you when I get the chance. Hearing this, Jason curled his lips in disdain. Nick Fury is this piece of shit. It's obvious that he doesn't trust him. He also said that others don't like to meet others, which is really not the son of a man. Okay, in that case I won't force it. See you later. With that said, Jason hung up the phone directly. That's really merciless at all. Nick Fury heard Jason hang up the phone. First he was stunned. Then he shook his head vigorously. Turn around and pick up the phone. Phil Coulson, send your Quinjet to the Wayne House in Gotham City. I'll give you another approval. After saying that, he also hung up the phone. Let's not talk about SHIELD for now. After Jason hung up the phone, he started to prepare. Interstellar travel is no simple matter. He needs to prepare food, enough water, and enough energy. There are also measures to deal with various risks. He doesn't look like the hapless Tony Stark. Without any preparation, I boarded the spaceship. If Captain, a pervert, hadn't saved him, there might have been no Iron Man in the world. Naturally, it was impossible for him to make such a stupid mistake. Therefore, he has to prepare everything, including, water source purification device, air purification device, oxygen production device and other equipment. And he also plans to study something under space conditions. The environment in space is completely different from that on Earth. The Earth is a unique planet. The thick atmosphere filters 99% of cosmic rays and radiation. There is no atmosphere in space. Outer space is filled with all kinds of radiation. Survive in space for a long time. It is easy to produce various diseases. Definitely, it made no difference to him. Quite the opposite. He would also be more comfortable in space. He wants to do experiments in space. Various radiations in space can cause various genetic mutations in species. Maybe it can induce some strange abilities. He might be able to use this to upgrade the lurker in his hand. Besides, weightless conditions can create a very good experimental environment. It is very valuable for its experiments. Therefore, a small laboratory must also be prepared. In addition, he also needs to prepare entertainment equipment. Two months without internet connection. It is very difficult for modern people to accept. He had to endure this kind of journey, so he naturally had to prepare some entertainment equipment. There are also some miscellaneous things. All require purchasing. Fortunately, he is from the Wayne family. We lack everything except money. The discussion lasted half an hour. He and Skynet had just prepared everything that should be prepared. Master, I can't wait any longer. According to my calculations, if the number of aircraft is increased, the Quinjet will not be able to carry the load at all. Hear this. Jason sighed helplessly. Compared to regular spacecraft, the Quinjet is just too small. Like in Thor 3, the ship used by Thor to evacuate Asgard refugees. The length alone is several kilometers. I'm afraid a small society can be formed inside. It's not comparable to a half-assed Quinjet fighter. Lilies, it will be much better when our space carrier is built. From now on, we don't have to worry at all. Let's make do with it now. Jason sighed helplessly. Stopped adding things to it. Now let's discuss the renovation. I think that in addition to the existing modifications, it is necessary to add weapons to it. Equip all the laser weapons. Master. The space and energy of the Quinjet are extremely limited. We can't possibly carry any large weapons on it. Besides, Minister from Outer Space, there is absolutely no point in having such a weapon. Without energy shield, your armor is fully capable of assuming the function of ship-borne weapons. Tan Wang persuaded seriously. Jason thought about it, too. At such a close distance, the chance of a cosmic war happening is not very real. Forget it. Dot. Chapter 157 Quinjet, please order in full. Please customize. Nick Fury, the old guy. Although sometimes unreliable, but it's usually very reliable. 
The day after Jason proposed, Phil Coulson sent the Quinjet over. Mr. Jason, this is our SHIELD thick fighter. Phil Coulson pointed to a huge amount of airplane next to him and said very proudly. Jason looked to the side and nodded. The Quinjet fighter looks really good. It's a really black body, full of metallic feel. And before this plane, people were like tiny little things. This is a huge thing that can carry hundreds of people. It can carry a small fighter jet and has an independent laboratory and independent cargo space. It even has the luxury of having an independent prison. The entire fuselage is divided into three layers, with the living area and the structure of each layer separated. It is really not an exaggeration to say it is a flying fortress. Jason had already given him the parameters of this thing, but Phil Coulson doesn't know that. Speaking directly, Mr. Jason, let me introduce you. The Quinjet fighter has an optical stealth module on its surface, capable of complete optical cloaking. Jason listened to Phil Coulson's inexplicably proud tone, rolled his eyes, optically invisible. What's the use of this thing? Maybe in the eyes of ordinary people, optically invisible. So awesome, so handsome, but in the eyes of professionals, this thing 553 is of no use at all. But the price, performance ratio is also very low. In today's air combat, where is the need for optical stealth? As long as you can appear on the radar, any fighter jet can lock on you. This kind of aircraft without firepower is simply a living target. Jason doesn't think there's anything cool about optical invisibility. Jason's behavior is very covert. Phil Coulson didn't see it. Continued to speak. The Quinjet uses a large aviation turbine engine. Completely developed by our SHIELD. It can even perform vertical takeoff and landing. It's very advanced even internationally. Jason nodded when he heard this. That's true. Some people may not know the concept of vertical takeoff and landing for fixed-wing aircraft. Jason is more inclined to believe that this thing is a myth. The flight of fixed-wing aircraft depends mostly on the updraft around the wings. CGDB, this behemoth weighs hundreds of tons. The price to pay for freedom of flight is very high. Not only is the steering limited, but the material is also very fragile. SHIELD is really technological. When they modified such a big thing to be able to take off and land vertically, they didn't just get a high power engine and be done with it. At least, the structure of the aircraft must be able to withstand the forces caused by vertical takeoff and landing. When the engine sprays down, the weight of the entire aircraft is almost borne by the two wings. Several hundred tons of weight are distributed at two points on the wing to prevent breakage. The requirements for machine materials are really too high. Besides, the Quinjet must maintain balance when taking off. Like when Tony Stark piloted the iron suit for the first time. Almost killed myself. There are only two vector nozzles and it is impossible to maintain balance in the air. The same goes for the Quinjet. He needs to maintain stability during liftoff to ensure that no rollover occurs. This is very difficult. At this point, SHIELD has indeed developed an incredible black technology. Jason nodded and praised. Phil Coulson continues the introduction. If we say the only shortcoming of this aircraft is that it consumes too much fuel. If we don't fly thousands of kilometers, we will consume hundreds of kilograms of high-purity aviation kerosene. So there are dedicated fuel tanks inside the aircraft. But I believe that for Wayne Group, this aviation kerosene should not be a problem. Jason pouted. Indeed not. That's not the problem at all. Spacecraft are a very special type of flight vehicle, because it is traveling at high altitude. Once danger occurs, the biggest possibility is that the machine will crash and everyone will die. This is why airplanes sound so dangerous even though they are obviously the safest means of transportation. When something goes wrong, it's a plane load of people. Therefore, the first thing an aviation aircraft ensures is safety. For gas turbine engines and ramjet engines, gasoline is highly volatile easy to burn and very unsafe. The viscosity of diesel is too high and inappropriate. So aviation kerosene with high calorific value and suitable density, it becomes, space shuttle, the best quality fuel. The price of this thing is actually not very high. Even the aviation kerosene specially prepared by NASA for use in rockets, that's a few thousand dollars per ton. But that's not what Jason is interested in. At the current stage, aviation kerosene is indeed a very high quality fuel. But there's a big problem. Its battery life is terrible. Counting the fuel inside the Quinjet. The Quinjet can only circle the Earth once. Just stop eating. Fuel can only be refilled at the airport. Most large aircraft do this. This brings you to SHIELD. It's nothing compared to a large organization with branches all over the world. But it was a bit inappropriate for him. Not to mention, in outer space, this kind of engine, which relies on oxygen to operate, cannot start at all. So this thing is the first thing Jason wants to modify. He prepared the engines on the Quinjet, replaced with a large haul propulsion unit on his armor. As long as there is enough power, it will keep running with several reactors. He can keep traveling on the plane until the end of time. Think about it. Jason interrupted Phil Coulson who wanted to continue introducing. Phil Coulson agent, please introduce me here. I will understand other things myself. Is what I want also on there? That's right, Mr. Jason. The aerospace alloys you want are all on the plane, in the warehouse on the third floor. If you need it, 
We can help you unload it. Phil Corson smiled and said, No need. I can do it myself. Here comes something. I'll give it to you. You can go back and resume your life. Jason picked up two suitcases from the side and handed them to Phil Coulson. This is the armor promised to Nick Fury. By now, this second generation armor that has been eliminated long ago has no value at all. Giving Nick Fury some resources is a very good deal in his opinion. Phil Coulson took it with both hands. His arms sank. Then he quietly handed the thing over to the tall and powerful subordinate behind him. Jason looked at it and smiled secretly. Phil Coulson still thinks this thing is very light. Something that all Tony Stark's bodyguard would carry. This woman, Little Pepper, looks soft and frail, but she is actually very powerful. She is a fierce woman. This thing is not light. Phil Coulson guessed wrong this time. Dot. Chapter 158 Transformation, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. Modifying machinery is a very interesting thing. The special preparation is with the help of Skynet, an engineering assignment. It immediately became 3D modeling. Skynet, is the interactive digital model of the Quinjet I need available? The scan of the split body has been completed and the bit model has been generated. Skynet's calm voice sounded. The Quinjet is no small device. This plane is as tall as three or four stories. Ordinary scanning, of course, cannot be completed in one go. Therefore, Skynet uses segmented scanning to build a digital model. Soon, a projection appeared in front of him. To be honest, the interactive experience with this kind of projection is still very wonderful. It cannot be touched. It depends entirely on visual perception. There is always a feeling of weakness. However, Due to technical limitations, this can only be done. Skynet, what material is used for the main frame of the Quinjet? Large aircraft are basically made of aluminum alloy structures. This is to reduce the weight of the aircraft as much as possible. Get a better flight experience. The people in SHIELD are richer. In addition to a few aluminum alloy structures, they also used some titanium alloys. As a result, the cost of aircraft will naturally increase greatly. The main body inside is made of T2C titanium alloy steel produced by the Bald Eagle military. The overall performance is very good. Whether it is strength or ductility, it is one of the top metals in the world. Jason nodded. He just said. Since it can withstand vertical takeoff and landing, there's no reason why the Quinjet's internal structure is all brittle metal. It's not that Jason looks down on aluminum alloys. Aluminum alloy materials used by the military. Sometimes, it may be better than alloy steel in various properties. But, due to the limitations of the natural lattice structure of the aluminum element, aluminum alloy is still not as strong as alloy steel. Alloy steel looks scrappy. It is indeed the material with the most superior comprehensive properties that humans have mastered. Due to the existence of negative mass matter in his hand, he does not need to consider the original weight of the aircraft at all. He decided to replace all the materials. Label all titanium and aluminum components on the aircraft. Skynet directly marked these places. Remove the engine and some major function units. Jason touched his chin and said, It's okay to replace the entire engine, such as titanium alloy on radar, balance unit, etc. He still can't be replaced. Alloy steel is inferior to titanium alloy in terms of special functions. Soon, Skynet revised the scope again. The entire large structure of the aircraft is marked, including the aircraft's skin, frame, and landing gear structures. They are all made of two lightweight metals, titanium alloy and aluminum alloy. Skynet, replace all these materials with aviation alloy steel. We don't need to think about thrust-to-weight ratio. Like Lao Mosey once said, as long as the thrust is strong enough, stainless steel can reach the sky. The MiG-25 is a typical example. If not for human technological limitations, fighters made of pure steel should be the mainstream. Who doesn't want a fighter jet to have the same protective capabilities as a tank? It's just that human technology can't do it for the time being, so we use aluminum alloys and titanium alloys. It's just something that even a small caliber machine gun can penetrate and Skynet. Respray the surface of the aircraft. Follow the style of the scum armor. For the surface coating, let's use the radar stealth coating used on the armor for the time being. Completely remove the original optical stealth module. There is no need for the moment. Jason shook his head. Optical invisibility is indeed very powerful when overwhelmed by technology. But when technology is crushed, that's really of no use at all. Pick any civilization in the universe. Radar technology is thousands of years ahead of the Earth. Optical invisibility is simply useless. He might as well have thickened his armor. It wasn't until Skynet completely this part of the transformation that Jason spoke. Replace all the engines of the Quinjet with our large hall electric thrust units. Calculate the thrust. Readjust the engine position to achieve a balanced ratio. Renovate the oil circuit inside the Quinjet. Renovate all the lines and replace them with our circuit unit modules. Also, get rid of the gas tank and the internal prison. Convert it into a storage unit and kitchen bar. Jason thought for a while and touched his chin. When SHIELD was first considered, the Quinjet exists as a kind of flying fortress. Dot 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 please give me flowers. It is also used as an aerial mobile platform. Therefore, 
The function is also very comprehensive, even extravagant enough to have a separate prison. This thing is completely useless to him. There is also a problem with the living room on top of the Quinjet. All are prepared for multiple members. Very uncomfortable. He will naturally undergo transformation. By the way, should I bring a chef and a flight attendant? Jason looked at the huge space inside the Quinjet. He asked Skynet a little weirdly. Forget it the captain has his own independent office. There is also a small bar. Is it really a palace in the sky? This thing is probably much more luxurious than their family's private jet. No wonder Nick Fury is an old guy. So much money is misappropriated every year. I'm afraid it all fell on this. However, this thing really seemed a bit empty for him to use alone. Forget it. Let's talk about it next time. Jason shook his head. The first time. It was still a bit dangerous. He no longer harms others. Wait until the technology matures. He must be like Tony Stark and find some studesses to dance on. Okay Skynet, let's transform it like this first. Prepare more supplies. Also, keep the small seed room in good condition. Take it to Mars when the time comes. Jason reminded. Touching his chin, Jason spoke again. Well, bring some small meat producing animals and try to see if they can be farmed on Mars. Jason thought for a moment. There is absolutely nothing wrong with growing vegetables on Mars. But eating green vegetables every day is not the same thing. You still have to eat meat. Just bring some animals up there. Anyway, he has no shortage of energy at all, under the condition that Mars has water source. The base also lacks essential substances for life, such as oxygen, feed and stuff like that. In the early stage, part of it will be transported from the Earth, and in the later stage, it can be completely self-sufficient. Skynet, why do you think I want to build a colony on Mars? Jason touched his head, said with a smile. If he continues like this, the scale of the Mars base will probably expand several times. By then, all international immigrants will be able to enter Sech 1. Dot. Chapter 159, Eat Dissipation Problem, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. Jason's fighter jet modification went very smoothly. He just needs to issue the order for modification. Skynet can modify it itself, only. The internal modification is actually only half done. After designing various structures, he still needs to transform other aspects. The environments of space and Earth are completely different. In space, no air, no lots of sunlight, and no warmth either. On the contrary, it is filled with all kinds of deadly radiation. Why do all spaceships and space stations look so bloated? Astronauts' spacesuits also look very bulky. It is to isolate various extreme environments in space. Space is not like the Earth. There is no atmospheric component at all. Therefore, Temperature conduction can only transfer heat through radiation and conduction. But where in the universe are there so many transmission media? July 13th hence, the environment in a vacuum can reach a very extreme level, far away from the fixed star. The temperature of the vacuum can reach minus 200 degrees, but close to fixed star. The temperature can reach several hundred degrees, plus all kinds of radiation. What if he entered space with a pure metal quinjet? That was really ecstasy. Skynet, what is the best insulation material in the world now? Master. The thermal insulation material does not have a higher thermal insulation coefficient. Thermal cycling of spacecraft is very special. Skynet spoke. By the way, I transferred some data to Jason. Jason really doesn't understand this. I found out after reading the information. It turns out that space insulation is not that simple. It doesn't mean that space is completely isolated. The most important thing about space navigation is actually thermal balance. Thermal insulation performance is of course important. But it's not that important. The important thing about insulation is maintains the temperature inside the spaceship. Space is always as cold as minus 200 degrees Celsius. If the spacecraft cannot be insulated, the temperature will drop very quickly. No one can bear this low temperature. Even someone as thick-skinned and fleshy as Jason couldn't withstand the low temperature of minus 200 degrees. But at the same time, the heat insulation of the spacecraft cannot be too good and sufficient heat dissipation units must be left. The spaceship is no matter it is any piece of machinery or human breath. All produce a lot of heat, especially the spacecraft's engines. That's really where the most heat is generated. In addition, heat in space cannot be conducted quickly. The spacecraft originally has a heat dissipation layer. The heat inside the spacecraft cannot be dissipated, and the temperature will get higher and higher. That kind of outcome can be imagined. Hence, Starships that travel long distances, often there is a heat sink that is many times larger than the hull, just like a satellite in space. There are two wings the size of a spaceship. By increasing the heat dissipation area, the heat dissipation efficiency is increased. So, in space, it is very easy to judge whether a spaceship will advance first. The more this spaceship looks like a spaceship, the more advanced the technology it has mastered, because they already have mature internal heat processing modules. On the contrary, it looks fancy, 
but the technology may just be at the level of the planet. Although Jason does not have any mature cooling device, but he also has a way. The heat generated by the Hall propulsion unit is very small. Most of it is heat generated by heating the propellant. But this part is outside the spacecraft, enough to minimize this impact. Plus Jason is going to use two wings that are completely useless in space. Change to heat sink. In this way, the temperature inside the Quinjet can be balanced. Reach temperature equilibrium. Therefore, he also needs to install something on the surface of the Quinjet, Skynet, after completing the improvement of the main structure of the aircraft. Design a heat dissipation pattern on the surface of the wing. It's best to make it a symbol or something. Jason thought for a moment and spoke. The material is pure silver pipe, embedded inside the wing to prevent damage. At the same time, a compound solution is injected inside as a coolant. Jason refined his plan. Silver is the most thermally conductive metal known to man. It's perfect for use as heat dissipation pipes. Although it is a bit soft, only a small amount of other elements are added to it. Maintaining the basic form is completely sufficient. All cooling equipment on the market is made of copper. It's for economic reasons. Jason is not short of money at all. There is no need to consider cost at all. Just consider the effect. So does the coolant inside the tube. The specific heat capacity of water is very large. Not the best cooling liquid at all. The reason why it is widely used is because it is cheap. Jason went straight to a special solution produced by a company called Bald Eagle. It is used to dissipate heat for supercomputers. The effect is very good. For the best effect, let Skynet slowly design the pattern. Jason spoke again. As for the thermal insulation layer, we will use aluminized polyamide film. This material is still very good. At worst, it would be nice to add a few more layers. Jason touched his chin and said, Some of you may have watched it on TV. There are various satellite images on the TV. Satellites are often entangled with various things similar to explanations. Make satellites look like they were built by elementary school students. There is absolutely no aesthetics to speak of. These films are actually aluminum-coated polyamide films. It is to isolate heat in space. It can also withstand the impact of small stars to a certain extent. Therefore, it is really not intentional that the satellite is so ugly. It's a performance requirement. Jason certainly doesn't need to wind up the Quinjet into a mummy. He only needs to add this insulation material to the outer armor sandwich of the Quinjet, who made the Quinjet big in size and budget. It can be like a space station, made more high-end. In fact, Transforming an airplane into a spacecraft is far more than that. What troubles governments around the world is actually a problem of motivation. In the absence of anti-gravity technology in 5.9, human beings want to accelerate hundreds of tons of things to the first speed in the universe, thereby getting rid of the constraints of the Earth. Now the only way is the rockets. But if the rockets return, a return capsule is also needed. The return capsule requires various ceramic heat shields, retarding devices, etc. Jason is made of anti-gravity technology. So there is no need to think about these things at all. Only he could modify the surface structure of the fighter plane so easily. Easily transport aircraft that can only travel within the atmosphere. Transformed into a spaceship that can travel in the universe. Okay, Skynet. Let's transform it according to the current situation first. If we find other problems, we will make changes. I'll ask Tony Stark too. Let's see what he thinks. After speaking, Jason asked Skynet to modify it himself. Prepare to contact his good friends. Dot. Chapter 160 Reminder Please order in full. Please customize. Tony Stark When I first came into contact, you wish you could beat him to death. In the movies, Tony Stark is indeed a very charming man. But really getting in touch with this guy. You wish you could beat him to death. Arrogance and narcissism are nothing. He is vicious and has no regard for other people's feelings. That's the most annoying thing about him. Especially when Tony Stark woke him up in the middle of the night with his bossy tone. Jason wanted to send his armor to kill him. But, been together for a long time, Jason actually found Tony Stark a little more attractive. This made him wonder if he was a bit masochistic. After saying goodbye to Bruce Wayne and Alfred, of course he had to say goodbye to Tony Stark too. Pick up the phone. I called several times. But Tony Stark didn't answer. Jason's face was covered in black. Skynet. Hack into Tony Stark's database. As expected, it only took a few minutes for Skynet to take action. Tony Stark's call came back. Fake squid. 26 Jason. What do you want to do? Do you know what I'm doing? Tony Stark's tone was full of annoyance. I think I was interrupted by Jason while doing some research. Are you trying to say that your research can change the world? You are right. My research can indeed change the world, Tony Stark said with excitement. Just stop for a moment and consider how the world feels. On average, he will be changed by you once every few hours. Isn't the world tired? Jason said helplessly. Tony Stark's arrogance. You can't change it in this life. But this is also a common phenomenon among bald eagle people. Very normal. I have something to tell you. Jason stopped Tony Stark from rambling on. 
He spoke directly. What's the matter? Just tell me, I still have to do research. Tony Stark scratched his messy hair and said, the models who usually spent the night with him would never have thought of this guy Tony Stark. How sloppy it is when doing research. If it weren't for Little Pepper, Tony Stark could literally bury himself in a takeout box. Shaking his head, Jason no longer thought about the usefulness of these things. I'm leaving the Earth, ha. Huh? Are you finally going back to your home planet? I just said, how can there be people on Earth who are more talented than me? Tony Stark said happily. Jason's face was full of black lines. God damn, go back to your home planet. You are more like an alien. Okay, I'm going to Mars, not back to my home planet. Jason said angrily. Mars, what are you doing in this inhospitable place? Tony Stark shook his head at first, then looked at Jason in surprise. Have you successfully built your base on Mars? That's right. I'm going to check it out this time, Jason said very reservedly. Tony Stark immediately perked up. I don't want to think about his research at all. He spoke immediately. I'm going, Jason sneered. He he. He wouldn't mind taking Tony Stark with him. This guy's small arms and legs won't cause him any trouble. But the problem is, he left like this. I don't know how long it will take to come back. Dealing with Mars. Plus in case something unexpected happens, he might not know how long it would take for him to come back. He took Tony Stark with him. If Loki brings people to Earth to cause trouble, who can stop him? Do you rely on 50-50 to open the captain? Although Tony Stark is not very powerful, but it is definitely the most stable combat power of Avengers. Thor and Hulk, those are both very unreliable. One has to cross several galaxies to get home, and the other often cannot control himself. Tony isn't here. The Earth might become what it is. He was destined not to succeed this time. Tony, it's not that I don't want to take you, but my navigation technology is not yet developed so I can't let you take risks. Jason's face was full of sincerity. It seemed like everything he said was true. In fact, the risk is really not that big. Even if the spaceship explodes such a close distance, he can also fly back with his steel armor. I say this just to persuade Tony Stark, but he clearly underestimated Tony Stark's interest in exploring Mars. It's okay, I'm not afraid of danger. Besides, with me here, nothing can go wrong. Tony Stark said very stinkingly. Jason's face was full of black lines. You are too arrogant. I dare not say that. No, I am confident in my skills. Come let me see your spacecraft. Let me modify it for you. Tony Stark is gearing up right now. Looks in high spirits. I completely forgot that I still have research. Tony couldn't beat him. I can only send the structural diagram. Damn it, what kind of rubbish did you create? This thing can't fly out of the atmosphere at all. When Tony Stark saw this, he immediately made a judgment. Jason's forehead was once again covered with black lines. Huh, just because you can't do it doesn't mean I can't do it. Of course I have a way to get this thing into space, Jason said directly. He was doing it to save time. I just looked for this thing without thinking about redesigning it. It was not originally intended for use in outer space. The design is a bit rubbish, isn't it normal for 580? Besides, it's not as rubbish as Tony Stark said. Tony Stark heard Jason say this. I'm not complaining about this either. I have no doubt you can make this thing fly. But can you tell me how you plan to defend against the impact of the small planet? Do you think space is the inside of the atmosphere? There are a lot of small planet fragments out there. Jason was also stunned when he heard this. Yes, why didn't he think of this? This shows how powerful Tony Stark is, although he knows a lot of things. But technology is very targeted. In some areas, Jason may be better than Tony Stark. But in terms of breadth of technical understanding, he really missed the mark. For example, space is a blind spot in his knowledge. He didn't think about this. Outer space is no paradise. Due to various small planets constantly moving and colliding, there is a lot of garbage and small planet debris in outer space. Once the speed of the spacecraft increases, encountered small planet fragments, that would immediately result in a shipwreck and loss of lives. It's like a plane being hit by a bird. The shard may originally have little power, but the speed of the spacecraft is very high. That's different. After being reminded by Tony Stark, Jason's expression immediately turned serious. Dot. Chapter 161, Design and Transformation, Part 1. Please order the full version. Please customize it. The brain circuits of geniuses are always different. As soon as I arrived, I discovered huge shortcomings in his design. He forgot that outer space is a very hostile place. Several pieces of his armor were damaged on the way to Mars. When it was his turn to modify the fighter plane, he seemed to have completely forgotten about it. Why even in outer space, everything is a vacuum. There is no need to consider aerodynamics at all. Many spaceships need to be designed in a streamlined or spindle shape. It is to reduce collisions with outer space garbage. Those ships have a square front. Either it has a shield, or it is very confident in its own materials. If not like this, as long as the speed is high, the ship will be destroyed and everyone will be killed. Jason obviously does not have this high-end technology now. Without energy shield, no metal on Earth can withstand high-speed collisions. Small planet fragments in the universe, it's not as fragile as on Earth. There are actually a lot of iron cores inside most small planets. Although the hardness is not high, 
But once the speed increases, that would be very astonishing. So the first thing Jason had to do was to optimize the shape of the Quinjet's nose, reduce the collision area. Thus, even if large debris hits, there will be no danger. Some changes were made to the digital model. The shape of the Quinjet has been optimized. Jason spoke. Do you have any other suggestions now? Tony Stark hugged his arms and touched his chin. The front defense of the fuselage is indeed sufficient. But what are you going to do about the wing? You wouldn't think that there is no reason why other people's spaceships are wingless. This thing is really too fragile. Tony Stark shook his head. The wings are in space, apart from being beautiful. There is absolutely no other use for it. So, many spaceships actually have no wings, just to reduce the volume of damage sustained. If there is a shield generator inside the spacecraft, it can also greatly reduce the consumption of energy shields. But Jason designed this thing. The wingspan of the aircraft may have caught up with the length of the fuselage. This increases the vulnerability of the fuselage. After hearing Tony Stark's words, Jason also scratched his head. No way. This is the heat dissipation unit of the spacecraft. Without this, the thermal balance inside the spacecraft would be disrupted. Tony Stark pinched his chin. That's really troublesome. Then we can only find ways to strengthen the wings. I can optimize its internal skeleton structure. As he spoke. Tony Stark enlarged the wing model and modified it. This guy is very accomplished in mechanics. There is an air of confidence exuding in every gesture. It was easy to optimize the mechanical structure of the wing to a quite perfect point. That alone is not enough. The strength of the internal structure is certainly important. But surface strength is also very important. The aviation special steel you used is good, but it's not strong enough. I recently studied a new alloy, which is a multibiotic high entropy alloy. I'll send you the recipe. As he spoke. Tony Stark transmitted a piece of information to Seven. Jason was not polite either. Dot. Chapter 161 Design Transformation, Part 2. Please order the full version. Please customize. It was common for him and Tony Stark to exchange technology. He has nothing to be embarrassed about. I'll transform this part. The strength of the wings doesn't need to be too high. We can calculate a route that minimizes all kinds of space debris. Jason scratched his head and Taguchi said. This is also a method, but the structure still needs to be strengthened. Actually. It's better to use an energy shield. It's a pity that we can't study it yet. Tony Stark shook his head regretfully. Energy shield is really a black technology. An energy film that can block any external attacks but can emit internal attacks. Human theory simply does not believe that such a thing can exist. So this is the most basic thing in various science fiction works. In fact, it is an elusive dream. Tony Stark considers himself a genius, but he still has no clue what might happen. Jason also nodded. He also deeply believed this. The more you know about technology, the more incredible you will be. Now we should not think about this technology, or think of ways to use metal materials originally. As long as the material is strong enough, there really is no difference. Jason spoke. That's true, existing metal materials. Performance-wise it's almost adequate. Tony Stark nodded and said. Let's discuss other aspects. Do you plan to use such a large space on the lower floor as a storage room? That's right. Under the situation that we are unable to be self-sufficient in the early stage, we can only rely on the transportation of resources in case of emergency. Jason nodded. It's true. It's not easy to be self-sufficient on Mars. Just pay attention to the pressure balance inside the ship. There are no big problems with this space. Jason nodded. Indeed, space has no atmosphere. Once a gas leak occurs in the spacecraft, that was a disaster. The gas inside the spacecraft will leak out quickly. CGDH, causing death of persons. Tony Stark reminded him. Be sure to take emergency measures inside the spacecraft. After a leak occurs, it can be quickly sealed. Tony Stark mentioned this and didn't say much more. Now it seems that there should be no other problems, although it's not perfect. But sailing to Mars is enough. When are you going to leave? I prepare in advance, Tony Stark said a little excitedly. Ha, I must bring a few models and then a chef. Jason heard Tony Stark's words. Everyone is feeling bad. Do you think you are going on a trip? Just bring a chef. What the hell are you doing with a few models? Besides, when did I agree to take you with me, Tony? Please stop for a moment. When did I say I would take you with me? Tony Stark couldn't believe what Jason said. Fake squid. Let me help you like this. You don't plan to take me with you? Besides, what's your reason for not taking me with you? When Jason heard this, he could only smile bitterly. Did he say, because you are the history of Avengers? Can't I take you away? What if a war breaks out? Loki and Thanos behind him. But he covets the Earth all the time. What if he goes out and is robbed from his hometown? Chapter 162 Solution, Part 1, Please Order in Full. Please customize. Jason is in a dilemma. It wasn't that he didn't want to take Tony Stark with him. There is really nothing secretive inside the Mars base. Even if it is a spaceport, it must be exposed to the public. Show it to Tony Stark. It doesn't matter. That's what he's worried about. After Tony Stark left, Earth's combat capabilities are insufficient. It will cause a lot of trouble. Tony, 
It's not that I don't want to take you with me. There is something hidden in this. There may not be peace on Earth in the near future. Tony Stark glanced at Jason thoughtfully. You mean, what might happen on Earth recently? Yes, it is very likely that your fighting power will be needed. Jason spoke. This is not simple. We just need to keep a few pieces of the armor. We can do online manipulation on Mars. In other words, I just hand over the armor to J-A-R-V-I-S. Tony Stark spoke. You can tell, he really worked hard to travel to Mars. However, Tony Stark's proposal made Jason thoughtful. If some problems are solved, this idea is not necessarily impossible to achieve. Then how do you plan to solve the communication problem? Jason asked, as far as he knows, even Tony Stark now. There is no mature long-distance communication technology in hand. In this way, remote control is empty talk. This is simple. We just need to build a set of communication equipment. I actually already have a clue. But if it has no use, it will not be manufactured. Just give me a few days. I can build this device. Tony Stark said nonchalantly. Jason choked when he heard this. Don't want to talk at all. And wanted to kill Tony Stark. This moment, he deeply felt the IQ gap between the two. Listen, is this human language? Taking a deep breath, Jason was not as experienced as Tony Stark. Speaking. Since you can solve it, then I don't have any problem. At most it's just a matter of bringing more supplies. However. You can only bring two or three people with you at most. You can't bring more people with you. Jason spoke. Ah, yen tt. If only Tony Stark had taken people there. He insisted on having an unobstructed meeting. Moreover, let Pepper know. This woman hasn't beaten him to death yet. Although it looks weak. But Pepper Potts is actually much more powerful than Tony Stark. Put on the armor for the first time and fight alongside Tony Stark. Still facing an enemy like Thanos. Zero. This shows the extent of its transformation. Jason didn't want to mess with her. When Tony Stark heard this. His face immediately turned ugly. Hey, mummy. The space of the spaceship is so big, why should I bring a few more people with me? Dozens of people could live up here. Jason's face was full of black lines. This is a scientific research trip for us. And if you're not afraid of Pepper being angry, you can try it. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. There are at most two large rooms on the spaceship, Jason said with a sneer. Forget it then. I'll just take Happy with me, Tony Stark said sarcastically. In fact, he wanted to take Pepper with him. But Pepper is the CEO of Stark Industries and has a lot to do. Dot. Chapter 162 Solution, Part 2, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. She simply didn't have time for such a long trip. He could only take Happy to make up the numbers. Jason heard Tony Stark's words, nodded. Happy appears to be Tony Stark's bodyguard. But actually, for lonely Tony Stark, it's not an exaggeration to say that Happy is family. Anyway, Happy is definitely incompetent as a bodyguard. As a retired boxer. He couldn't even defeat the security guard watching the gate. 673. We really can't expect too much. But being a pistachio is still very competent. Can. I'll bring a cook with me. Four people are enough. Jason also spoke. Wait. I have a proposal. I know a beautiful chef. What do you think of me bringing her along? Tony Stark said excitedly. No. We have enough chefs in the Wayne family. Jason coldly rejected Tony Stark. Also. Develop communication technology as soon as possible. We will set off in one week. Jason couldn't be bothered to break up with Tony Stark for this operation. The fewer people, the better. Although he has no intention of keeping secrets. But the later the strength is exposed, the better. He didn't want to bring an unreliable person on board. Then it turns out this guy is a Hydra spy. That's really great fun. Hang up the phone. Jason thought for a moment before speaking. Skynet, according to our plan. Start the modification. It was done in a week. When Tony Stark's technology is in place, we can go. Think of this. Jason also felt excited for a while. He was finally going to step into the stars. For a scientist, the sea of stars is the real journey. What's so messy on Earth? Earth no matter what. It seems that he is not outstanding in the universe. Whether it is Asgard or the home planet of other interstellar civilizations. Nothing compares to Earth. Even if it is the only outstanding view. It's no better than Asgard. Resources above. The Earth is even more barren this week. It's incomparable to some planets in space. Even among the nine planets in the solar system. The Earth is not the most fertile. Not to mention. There are countless galaxies outside the solar system. The Milky Way alone can be explored in a lifetime. As far as mankind knows, there are 120 billion fixed stars in the Milky Way. Most fixed stars have their own fixed star series. Just like the solar system, there are different numbers of planets. If you do some calculations, you will know that light is the planet inside the Milky Way. I'm afraid it is a number that cannot be measured at all. Not to mention, there are two companion galaxies next to the Milky Way. The large Magellanic Cloud and the small Magellanic Cloud. The Cree were one of them. Besides the Milky Way, there are also the Andromeda Galaxy and the Triangle Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is also the home of the Skrulls. 
These three main galaxies form the supercluster. There are not many known supergalaxy clusters like this in the universe. The number of planets and fixed stars is really hard to count. So, Thanos' theory is not reliable at all. I haven't even been out to the Milky Way a few times in my life. Do you think that the population expansion in 5.7 will consume all the resources of the universe? The Kree? one of the most powerful civilizations in the galaxy. There are only 30 billion people in their own Magellanic cloud. One planet per person is more than enough. How is it possible to consume nearly infinite resources? Jason can only say that ignorance is terrible. What's even more frightening is that Thanos is still an ignorant lunatic. This guy must be killed. Dot. Chapter 163, Over Distance Communication, Part 1, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. Life is so full of surprises. In the end, Jason brought Tony Stark with him. Follow what he said. If people had the chance, they would not go to Mars. What's the difference between that and salted fish? In addition, he developed the technology of instant communication. Even if he is on Mars, he can still control the armor to fight on Earth. Jason accepted the proposal half-heartedly. Time flies. In a blink of an eye, they were about to set off. Tony Stark arrived at Wayne Manor early with his things. And, this guy, coming to Wayne Manor was like coming to his own home. Yelling and drinking everywhere. He even flirted with some pretty maids in the manor. You really are not a human being, Tony. That's enough. Jason looked at Tony Stark with a dark expression on his face and wanted to touch the maid's hand. Being directly avoided by others. He really couldn't stand it anymore. Tony Stark smiled coquettishly. Jason, your maid is so unenthusiastic. I'm here as a guest. If you hadn't been a guest. She would have killed you with a gun, Jason said with a sneer. Tony Stark smiled sarcastically. Okay, don't say these useless things. Have you researched your communication technology yet? Definitely, it's not easy, Tony Stark said coolly, completely ignoring the fact that he had a lever attack in the laboratory for several days while drinking coffee. It can't be the ones you installed on the spacecraft today, right? Jason asked. Early this morning, Tony Stark brought in several larger pieces of equipment. Each has a file size of two meters. It took up a lot of his space. Yes. That's it. Extra distance communication equipment. Unfortunately, I haven't fully researched it yet. It also needs to be relayed through the equipment. Only in this way can ultra long distance real time communication be achieved. Jason looked at Tony Stark, somewhat speechless. Listen, is this human language? If the research is not completed, then it is so awesome. If the research is completed, then it's okay. He has studied it before. Communicate on a cosmic scale. It's not easy. The distance is often dozens or hundreds of light years. The light still takes so many years to run. Communication signals are passed on. That was also something I don't know how many years later. If this is the case, even if the news is received, the day lily will be called. So, humanity's current communication technology. Completely useless in the universe. This is also an important restricting factor that restricts human development towards the universe. Tony Stark's research is definitely timeless. But people. It took less than a week and 750 issues to complete. Jason could only sigh. Genius is so powerful. What method did you use? Quantum entanglement. Jason said with a smile. You're kidding, right? Can quantum entanglement also be used for communication? Tony Stark looked at Jason with contempt. Jason also smiled. It is true that quantum entanglement cannot achieve long distance communication on an interstellar scale. According to the limitations of the theory of relativity, there is no matter in the world that exceeds the speed of light. Quantum entanglement can indeed produce a certain degree of particle synchronization on an interstellar scale, but this cannot be used for subpoenas. Quantum entanglement is just an uncertain state of two particles relative to each other. Dot. Chapter 163, Over Distance Communication, Part 2, Please Order in Full. Please customize, like Schrodinger's cat. Particles only have the characteristic of quantum entanglement when humans do not observe them. When humans make observations, the two particles become independent particles again. It's not like ordinary people understand it. As long as information is input to one particle, the other instance no matter how far away it is, will have the same effect. Therefore, the quantum entanglement long distance communication technology in science fiction movies is very unreliable. That's why Tony Stark said it was just a joke. Okay, I was just joking, how did you do it? Jason asked a little strangely. Tony Stark's face turned slightly pale, speaking. I took advantage of the sun's gravity. Our existing technologies are all based on the gravitational lensing effect of the theory of relativity. As long as I place my communication equipment at the gravitational wave focus at a certain distance from the sun. I can take advantage of the sun's gravity. Open a wormhole in the conventional sense to achieve the effect of long distance communication. Tony Stark smiled proudly when he said this. Jason stared at both of them at the same time. That expression seemed to make Jason praise him again. But Jason didn't pay attention to his expression. Instead, he touched his chin thoughtfully. This technique doesn't seem to be very difficult, and he seems to be able to do it. You mean, using the gravity of the sun to create some kind of space collapse effect, then create an instant wormhole for information transmission, 
right? That's right. Tony Stark happily touched his stubble. The function of wormholes is actually easy to explain. If we draw two points on the white paper, it seems that these two points are in two positions on the white paper and cannot touch at all. But as long as we fold this piece of paper in half, two points in different places can come into contact. The effect of wormholes is similar to this. Use strong gravity to forcefully fold space. Create a miniature collapse wormhole. In this way, their communication signals can be transmitted from distant stars. Tony Stark very cleverly used the gravity of the sun to achieve this process. The gravity of the sun is very terrifying. As long as the mass exceeds that of the sun, it will be captured by the sun within the solar system. If you want to escape, your speed must reach a very high level. Inside the wandering Earth, in order to allow the Earth to escape, the Earth's government used the power provided by huge amounts of planet engines. It was almost captured by Jupiter's gravity. The Sun's gravitational pull is much greater than Jupiter's gravitational pull. In some suitable location, it is very easy to cause the collapse of space. But for him, this process seems to be simpler. He can make a gravity generator himself. Change the space to some extent. Just increase the power. Creating a small wormhole doesn't seem to be impossible. Before, he did not consider this aspect. Because the gravity is too small, the wormhole created has no big effect at all. He did not continue his research. Now inspired by Tony Stark, Jason immediately had an idea. Something like electromagnetic waves. It's not a big deal. Stable wormholes aren't even needed. Just need a space gap to fly. Electromagnetic waves can propagate without any obstacles. His own long-distance communication equipment seems to be at his fingertips. Dot. Chapter 164, Set Sail, Part 1. Please order in full. Please customize. Although Jason has researched new technologies, but now that departure is imminent, Jason naturally cannot do such a thing. Suppress your research mood. Start preparing to sail. In fact, there is nothing to prepare for. He has prepared food, water and various other supplies. Now just wait to set sail. I asked Skynet to check the item list again to make sure there was no problem. Jason took a deep breath. Tony, happy, are you ready? I'm definitely ready to go. Tony Stark said eagerly. Long before he came to Gotham City, Tony Stark had already said goodbye to Pepper Potts. Now it's just a boat ride with Happy. So Jason gave the order. Several of them boarded the spaceship. Except for Tony Stark and Happy. And the Wayne family service staff. A cook. And several attendants. In order to prevent Tony Stark from causing trouble. He also deliberately found a few that were not very good looking. In the eyes of ordinary people. These waitresses may not be considered acceptable. But Tony Stark. Who has such high vision. Will definitely look down on him. Without further ado. The group of people boarded the spacecraft directly. Jason arranged a room for them. Except for him. Tony and Happy, the other people's room was just a relatively small space, but the plane is so big, they can only make do with it. The group of people were very surprised when they got on the plane, definitely not including Tony Stark. He was never new to anything and kept making judgments. Well, this decoration is not bad. This is so substandard. Can we wait a while before leaving? I want to redecorate my room. Jason held his forehead, his face covered with black lines. Shut up, follow me to the cab, we're off. Jason shouted and spoke. After saying that, Tony Stark took the lead and walked to the U-shaped ditch area without caring. Because of the existence of the magical artificial intelligence Skynet, the spaceship has no pilot. All equipment on the spacecraft is controlled by Skynet. Whether it is the flight system or the radar scanning system. Wait until Tony Stark sits on the passenger seat in amazement. Jason then spoke. Skynet, start the spaceship, let's go. And, Tony, you better put on your seat belt. Get up. Ha. I never use this thing, Tony Stark said sarcastically. Don't regret it later, Jason reminded. Regret is impossible. Stop dawdling. Skynet will sail quickly. I can't wait to see what's going on in outer space. Tony Stark's expression was very excited. It looks like a child looking forward to a gift. Jason pouted. This guy. You will regret it when the time comes. Because of the characteristics of the spacecraft. When the spaceship flight is ascending, there will indeed be no huge pressure caused by strong acceleration. But when the spacecraft rises, it doesn't fly flat like this. There will be a posture transformation. By then, Tony Stark will know how powerful he is. Tony Stark doesn't wear a seat belt. He will feel better then. Just a reminder and no more words. Jason spoke. Skynet, let's go. We go to Mars. Jason looked ahead. Dot. Chapter 164, Set Sail, Part 2, Please Order in Full. Please customize. There was also a flash of excitement in his eyes. That man doesn't yearn for space. He is now about to take the first step into the universe. Soon, Skynet's voice rang. Engine charging. Prepare to change posture. Passengers please fasten your seat belts. The spacecraft is about to undergo an attitude change. Mr. Tony Stark, please put your seat belt on. Otherwise, there may be dangers. Tony Stark didn't take Skynet's reminder at all. No problem. I can hold on. Skynet heard Tony Stark say this. Not admonishing either. Start changing stance. As Skynet's voice fell, the spacecraft began to tremble slightly. The nose of the spacecraft begins to rise. If anyone looked from the outside, 
they would notice it. At the moment the spaceship is floating in midair. Start changing form. Gradually transform from the form of an airplane to the form of a rocket. Therefore, the entire plane began to rotate in midair. From the porthole in front of the spacecraft, you can clearly see the changes in the shape of the spacecraft. At this time, Tony Stark panicked. It's not very pleasant to experience a shift in your center of gravity without wearing a seat belt. What about Tony? Do you still want to insist now? Jason looked at Tony who almost fell down and teased. You already knew that, right? Tony Stark fastened his seat belt in a very embarrassed manner. I finally sat on the chair. I definitely know. That's why I reminded you to wear your seat belt beforehand, Jason said innocently. Tony Stark's tone froze when he heard this. It seems like this. Both Jason and Skynet reminded him. But he didn't take it to heart. That's what caused this situation. So Jason can only sulk here. Just when the two were bickering. The spacecraft has begun the process of climbing. It is different from the normal climbing process of an aeroplane. His modified spaceship looks more like a hot air balloon. The climb was very smooth. It's not like other flight machines, which are full of huge amounts of vibration. Their bickering skills. They have climbed to an altitude of several thousand meters. The Earth's atmosphere can be roughly divided into five layers. Start from the bottom. They are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, warm layer and outer layer. Dot please give me flowers. The total thickness is about 800 kilometers. Now he has not even completed 1% of the journey. However, the scenery outside has begun to look better. Through the screen, they can even see the scenery below. It seems that the performance of the spacecraft is very good. The flight was so smooth. It's all my fault, Tony Stark said happily. When Jason heard this, he could only curl his lips. This narcissistic guy. But he did play a role, so Kansen didn't mention him anymore. Say, Jason. Did you get the approval from the space agency for this voyage? Jason glanced at him. I definitely went through the filing and approval process. Do you think everyone is like you? Jason smiled. Tony Stark experimented with armor for the first time and didn't even say hello. Flying directly in the sky. Do you really think the people in the Bald Eagle military are trash? If it weren't for the people who landed and S-H-I-E-L-D, he had already had someone knock him down from the sky. He wouldn't make that mistake. Naturally, I reported it early. Now I am waiting to leave the Earth. Dot. Chapter 165, In the Universe, Part 1. Please order the full version. Please customize it. The lift-off process of a flight vehicle is a very dangerous process. In order to escape the shackles of the Earth's gravity, the flight vehicle needs to be in the process of rising, which is within tens of seconds. Accelerate the speed to above the first cosmic speed. Only then can a behemoth of several hundred tons be sent out of the Earth. This process is very dangerous. The huge acceleration caused the entire spacecraft to bear a huge force. There is only one part inside the spacecraft. 583 could not withstand this powerful force causing the spacecraft to disintegrate. This is also the main reason for many rocket launch accidents. It is impossible to leave the Earth without paying a certain price. Good thing. In terms of safety, Jason's spacecraft is more powerful than any other country's rockets. Without the restraint of gravity, when a spacecraft goes into space, it only needs to lift off with all its strength. After the speed increases, they pass through the atmosphere very quickly, arriving at the edge of outer space of the Earth. At an altitude of 800 kilometers above the ground, the scenery on the ground is actually very blurry. Above he saw just patches of clouds. Space also became pitch black. Under the rays of the sun, they couldn't even see the light of other fixed stars. Ha! We left the Earth, Tony Stark said excitedly. While talking, there was some dancing. Skynet, fly higher quickly. I want to take a photo with the Earth. Tony Stark urged. Mr. Stark, we need 10 more minutes to reach the location you want. If we want to observe the entire Earth, we still need a certain distance. Skynet's voice rang in the cockpit. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and speed up. I can't wait. Tony Stark said excitedly. Engine propulsion mode changed. Direction adjustment. Confirmation of marching attitude. Starting to leave the atmosphere. Skynet's voice rang again in the cockpit. No warning. The spacecraft broke away directly from the atmosphere. Not even a little vibration. Leaving the atmosphere does not mean breaking away from the gravitational pull of the Earth. The gravitational field of a planet is very wide. If it is an ordinary rocket, after traveling to this height, will enter the Earth's low Earth orbit. It began to move around the Earth under the influence of gravity. Want to escape the gravity of the Earth. It also requires a series of complex speed changes to escape from the Earth's gravitational circle. Jason's spaceship doesn't use it. Not being affected by gravity is so free. Adjusted some flight attitude. The spacecraft began to think about Mars flight in the distance. Skynet goes through a series of complex calculations. A shortest path to Mars has been calculated. But, before going on a journey, they will be in extraterrestrial orbit, saying goodbye to the Earth for the last time. Take off your seat belt. Jason stood up from his seat 4.6. There is no gravity in space. Fortunately, there is a gravity generating device on the aircraft. When entering space, work has already begun. Enough to provide a gravity-like effect to the spacecraft. Compared with the gravity on the Earth, 
It is still insufficient. Jason felt as relaxed as if he were soaking in water. After stretching his muscles, Jason spoke. Come on Tony, we don't have to be just here. Chapter 165, In the Universe, Part 2. Please order the full version. Please customize it. If we want to see the scenery, we'd better go to the observation cabin. You can clearly see the view of the Earth from there. Fake squid, you didn't tell me earlier. Tony Stark quickly took off his seat belt. He hurriedly followed Jason. Not used to this light gravity, Tony almost fell down. Be careful, if you break your leg here. I can't guarantee that I can cure you. Jason reminded. He was definitely joking. In order to prevent unnecessary accidents on the spacecraft, he had stored several tubes of desperate medicine in the medical refrigerator beforehand. Being able to close the week does most of the 26 unexpected situations happen. Shet. Tony Stark cursed. I am much more careful in my actions. The two walked together and soon arrived at the observation cabin. Tony Stark also called Happy by the way. Sit down with a group of people. Let the waitress prepare snacks. Jason then spoke. Happy, how do you feel? This kind of experience doesn't happen very often. Oh, Mr. Jason, this is really exciting. Happy said with some excitement. It is clear. This Stark's bodyguard. He is not a teacher. Very adventurous. Okay Jason, let's get started. I can't wait to see my Earth. Tony Stark clapped his hands and said. Skynet. Open the skylight. Let's see the view. Jason spoke. To be able to see the scenery, Jason modified the metal casing here. The outside is equipped with complex machinery. Skynet can be used to cut open the metal shell outside. Use the special glass to observe the scenery outside. As Jason's words fell, the skylight above them opened. The entire wall began to slide downwards. The view outside was revealed. To be honest, the scenery in the universe is not very good. All kinds of lifeless scenery are visible. People will feel very bored after watching it too much. But Earth is different. Earth is definitely a beautiful planet. Among the planets discovered by humans, there are really only a handful of people on Earth who can compare to her in appearance. Even the Xandar star, known as the star of the universe, in terms of appearance, it is not as good as the Earth. And they can see the complete view of the Earth at this moment. As the skylight slides down, a blue planet appeared in front of them. Under the blue background, there are clouds and mist, and green land is dotted among them. It looks very beautiful. Tony Stark whistled. Wow, this view is awesome. Happy. Come let's take a picture. Tony had already prepared his Gosu digital camera. He also changed into a casual outfit. It's like vacationing in Hawaii. Jason was very speechless. Jason, are you coming? 413 Tony Stark asked, raising the camera in his hand. Jason shook his head decisively. He directly gave up one side of the room. While drinking tea, start admiring the view of the Earth. With his strong eyesight, he can even see satellites floating in the orbit of the Earth. There is just a lot of space junk, some of which are unsightly. If you ignore this, the scenery is still very good. It takes a while. Tony Stark over there was finished taking photos. I bet I'm the first millionaire to experience this. Tony's voice sounded from the narrator. Jason smiled but said nothing. Dot. Chapter 166 Journey, Part 1. Please order in full. Please customize. The journey through the universe is actually very boring. In addition to taking a look at the scenery of the Earth in the early stage, it is a bit fresh. It got really boring later on. At first you may feel a little bit of fun and mystery in the universe. After arriving at the back, that was really, really boring. What you see every day is the same scenery. Everyone gets bored. Tony Stark even started to get in touch with the Wayne family's maid. To know. In the first few days, Tony Stark was very gentlemanly in front of him. One can imagine how bored he is now. Fortunately, a few people with normal brain circuits are not so bored. Happy, Chef and others. Still very happy. Now they can still access the internet. They play games and watch movies every day and are very happy. Tony and Jason were the only two people on the boat who felt bored. Forget it, I'd better go to the laboratory and stay. He touched his chin and put down the tablet in his hand. Jason walked towards the laboratory. The laboratory is located at the very end of the ship. Completely isolated from the front living area. The environment in the universe is very special. The sun is a huge radioactive source. All kinds of radioactive rays are emitted all the time. Plus the rays passed by other fixed stars. The interior of the universe is a hodgepodge. Without the obstruction of the atmosphere. Various high energy rays flood this space. For ordinary people. Very dangerous. Stay in this illusion. Even if you don't die from lack of oxygen or other reasons. They will also eventually die from radioactive rays. Genetic mutations caused by radiation and cancer, even those astronauts who are in very good physical condition. When conducting space navigation, protection will be taken. Thick spacesuits can isolate most radiation. After returning to the ground, it will take a long time to recuperate and restore the body. Even someone with such good physical fitness is like this. Not to mention ordinary people. For the sake of a few ordinary people on the spaceship, 
he deliberately modified the compartments of the spacecraft. Metal interior walls in the living area. There is a very thick layer of lead used to isolate various high-energy rays. Even the glass of the picture window has lead in it, used to protect against radiation. Plus food coordination, completely able to isolate the effects of radiation. The lab is different. To achieve a special environment, create various radiation environments for the plants prepared inside. The laboratory is completely unprotected, and they also deliberately used very poorly absorbent metal. That's why Tony Stark, even though he's totally bored, doesn't come here. Even those who have been injected with desperate drugs cannot withstand this dose of radiation. But Jason didn't care. He has rough skin and thick flesh, so he is not afraid at all. Open the sealed double protective door of the laboratory. Jason stepped directly into the laboratory. Dot dot dot. As soon as, Zhao Nuo entered the laboratory, Jason felt something strange. His whole body seemed to be surrounded by a warm motion, feeling extremely comfortable. That feeling. It's like having a full blind massage after taking a sauna. The whole person relaxed. It was as if all the pores in his body were open to breathe. That feels like donkey. It's really exciting and exciting. After a while, Jason finally got out of it. Dot. Chapter 166 Journey, Part 2. Please order in full. Please customize. Skynet. Detect surrounding radiation index. Identify types of radiated energy. The only reason Jason could imagine this happening. It's because of radiation. It's like basking in the sun. Most people will feel very comfortable. His feelings were several times stronger. His body will absorb a large amount of solar radiation to strengthen itself. And that feeling is very fascinating. Soon, the result of Skynet's receipt came out. Sure enough. It was not beyond Jason's expectation. The gamma ray index inside the laboratory is almost off the charts. In this environment, he is simply at home. It's strange to feel uncomfortable. The main source of gamma rays. Nothing else. It's a nuclear reaction. 403. Either fission or fusion. A large amount of gamma rays are emitted. This is why Jason put the arc reactor on his chest when he had nothing to do. This thing is like a warm baby on his chest. Very comfortable. It can also constantly enhance your physical fitness. Of course he likes this. But, the gamma rays on Earth are really far different from those in the universe. The sun is the largest radiation source in the entire solar system. Ongoing nuclear reactions. A lot of gamma rays are being emitted all the time. And it's a generous portion. I'm afraid it would take hundreds of millions of arc reactors to rival the sun. The universe is filled with direct sunlight. High energy particle flows are everywhere. He's like a duck to water now. Jason made a decision immediately. Skynet. Bring my bed over here. I decided to live here. And Jason decided. When you have nothing to do, just go to outer space and live for a while. This speed of body strengthening is really great. The sun's energy is nearly infinite. All the energy currently used by humans comes from the sun. Although he only absorbed a very insignificant part. But for humans, it's already a lot. He can now feel that the cells in his body are constantly strengthening. As long as it is in the universe, he can become stronger even while sleeping. Is there such a good thing in the world? CGBH. Jason finally knows why Hulk's skin is green. It's all just for better rigidity and harmony. No wonder Hulk is so powerful. Norse mythology. It took Fenrir, the wolf who had devoured the moon and countless gods, to bite through his skin. But, it's really unsightly to look like Hulk, looking like this. Jason is very satisfied. I got used to this feeling. Jason returned to his serious state again. Skynet. How much unknown energy radiation have been discovered? Master, there are 18,624 chapters that can be directly observed. Other. More subtle forms of energy radiation have not been observed. Skynet's voice sounded in the laboratory. Jason nodded. Without surprise. Human civilization. It can only be regarded as an elementary level civilization that has not set foot on the planet. Compared to the nearly infinite universe, human beings are just too small. Light is a solar system. I'm afraid it's enough for human exploration for a hundred years. And there are countless single fixed star galaxies like the solar system in the universe. There are types of energy radiation in the universe that humans have not yet explored. It's so normal. If it is all radiation detected by humans. That's scary. Record the wavelengths and frequencies of these energy indices for future study. I'm going to see those precious plants first. Jason gave an order and walked towards the inside of the laboratory. Dot. Chapter 167. Preparing for launch. Part 1. Please order in full. Please customize. Jason before leaving Earth. There are several special plants in the area. Just to see the effects of various radiations in space. On biological genes. Why bring plants? This is because animal genes mutate slowly and inconspicuously. The mutation of plants is much simpler and very clear. He just brought a few plants. This is the original strain of the terminal virus. Extremis exhibits very superior adaptability to animals. Able to reorganize the basic genes of animals. Achieve the effect of broken limb reborn. But this is actually a plant virus. In the beginning. 
It was discovered from plants at the conference in Switzerland that year. Tony Stark just wanted to sleep with a female doctor who discovered the virus. Only then did Killian let go. Something happened next. He finally found the original strain of the virus. Stay on board this time. Just take a look. There are all kinds of strange rise in the universe. Can mutations occur? Soon. Jason walked to the room where the plants were. These original strains of the virus look very ordinary. It is no different from the usual landscape trees in hotels. But if you look carefully, you'll see. The veins of these leaves look a little red. From time to time, red light swims in the veins. It looks very magical. It has actually been many days since they entered the universe. These plants are also exposed to large amounts of radiation. Maybe there were changes in his genome at the moment. Skynet is preparing a genetic probe. I want to check it carefully. Jason picked up a bottle of solution on the experimental table. Carefully drop it on the original strain of the virus. Don't underestimate this plant. It seems that this thing is no threat to ordinary landscape trees. But it's actually very dangerous. With the slightest provocation, huge amounts of explosions can occur. At that time, Happy, the unlucky guy, once underestimated this plant. He touched it without warning and was blown away directly. Although he is not afraid of this explosion. But laboratory equipment is very expensive. If it was damaged. It would be too late for him to cry. These drops he put on were a special solution. Can block energy reactions inside leaves. Right. But it will not have any impact on the plant's genes. The clear solution is dripped onto the leaf veins. The red light above dimmed directly. Jason then carefully cut off the blade. Placed in a petri dish. At this time, Kunson breathed a sigh of relief. Place the petri dish on the laboratory bench. Cut off a small section of the leaf from above. Then put the slide on and start observing. Even in plants genes are very complex. His rough observation can only make some rough comparisons. Compare whether the plants have undergone genetic changes. But it is. The gene comparison map was printed out by Skynet. Jason looked at the map and raised his eyebrows. Plants do undergo genetic mutations to a certain extent. But it's not obvious. And it has not shown any changes in external traits. Skynet. Record the changes in the genome a little bit. It seems that time has not been long enough to produce fundamental changes. We'll keep it in the Mars base for a while. Then some benign mutations should occur. As he spoke, Jason took care of this thing. Dot. Chapter 167, Preparing for Launch, Part 2, Please Order in Full. Please customize. Thrown into a plasma waste disposal furnace. Jason recorded the experimental data. Just start working on other things. Start studying various radioactive rays in the context of the universe. Time passed like this day by day. On this day, Jason was doing experiments in the laboratory. A sudden communication request came from Tony Stark. Jason raised his head and looked at the screen. What's the matter? I'm very busy. Tony Stark on the other side of the screen glanced at Jason. I saw that Jason not only didn't look depressed but also looked rosy. The spirit is also very good. Really a bit dumbfounded. As a physicist, he knows best how terrifying the high energy rays in the universe are. Inducing genetic mutations is just their recessive effect. Prolonged exposure to high energy rays. These rays directly kill the cells in your body. Your body will become weaker and weaker. Immediate failure of various organs. But it won't die immediately. The end was very miserable. But look at Jason. Where is the meaning of listlessness? Tony Stark even felt that this guy was more energetic. You're such a monster. Still alive after all this. Thank you for the compliment. If you have any questions, just tell me. I'm very busy. Jason said expressionlessly. Hearing Jason say this, the expression on Tony Stark's face became serious. According to calculations, we have reached the first solar gravitational wave focal point. If Skynet's calculations are correct, we should throw away the long-distance communication equipment now. When Jason heard this, he stopped his movements. Have we flown this far? He has been doing experiments in the laboratory these days and has lost track of time. Definitely, we have been marching for more than 10 days. Haven't you noticed? Has the network on the ship become very poor? Tony Stark rolled his eyes and said, Well, I wasn't paying attention. Jason scratched his head again. He was so busy experimenting that he didn't even notice these things. In that case, I'll come out right now. Skynet's calculations are infallible. Jason said this and hung up the communication directly. Then, Jason started packing his things. Put away the equipment on the experimental table. Jason entered the disposal room. Start spraying some special solution on yourself. This is to eliminate some of the fatal radiation effects on the body. Otherwise, if he comes out with radiation on his body, it may affect people outside. So Jason still has to deal with it a little bit. After processing, Jason also took a shower. Wash all the solution off your body. Then I changed into a brand new set of clothes. Just walked out of the closed laboratory. Tony Stark guy. It was rare that he was not having fun. Wait for him at the door. Why is it so troublesome? Tony Stark complained smoothly. If you don't mind getting cancer, I couldn't have gone any faster. 3.8 Jason rolled his eyes at Tony Stark and spoke. Tony Stark sneered. Then he asked. What should we do? The equipment needs to be debugged and installed. In space, it is very troublesome to install modulation machines. Do they have space suits? Times have changed Tony. We have robots. Jason spoke. Dot. 
Chapter 168, Transforming Equipment, Part 1, Please Order in Full, Please Customize, Space Operations for Astronauts, It's very cumbersome, Heavy Space Suit, It makes them unable to flexibly operate some equipment at all, and it is also restricted by safety ropes, coupled with the existence of a gravity-free environment, if you leave the space capsule, it is very easy to be in danger, therefore, Spacewalking is not as cool as it looks. It's a very dangerous job. Good thing. Technology is constantly evolving. He has a battle armor in his hand. I specifically asked about the model number for construction and renovation. The device on your hand can even reach the sensitivity of your fingers. Ideal for installing a variety of equipment. So Tony Stark's worries are completely unnecessary. To install the device. 26. They were in the cockpit all the time. This is where all the equipment of the spacecraft is controlled. Definitely the armor is also controlled here. Call it manipulation. In fact, the two of them are very relaxed. Still in the mood to brag in the cab, only because Skynet is a very hard-working artificial intelligence. Tony, what material did you use on the surface? It won't fall apart after being hit by the little planet, right? Jason said while looking at the equipment being installed by the armor outside. The equipment designed by Tony Stark is quite sophisticated, except for a thin protective shell. There are all kinds of machinery and circuits inside. Jason is very doubtful about the battery life of this thing. Although there will be no corrosion, oxidation, water intrusion, etc. in space. But there are still many things that are very fatal to electronic equipment. For example, solar storms. This explosive strong ionization storm can have devastating effects on electronic equipment. Even if there is a weakening of the atmosphere, this thing can affect electronic equipment on the Earth. Countless satellites fall on it every year. Jason had to worry. There are many other issues as well. For example, small planets, space junk, thermal expansion and contraction etc. Don't underestimate these are things. The Earth has been affected by human beings' continuous launch of satellites over the years. A garbage patch has formed. Maybe some space junk is lucky enough to escape from the shackles of Diddy's gravity. Float to the outboard. After such a long distance acceleration, the kinetic energy it brings is very terrifying. Pew metals can be broken down. Not to mention this kind of hollow precision equipment. There is also the issue of thermal expansion and contraction in space. The temperature difference is very large. The area where the sun shines may reach several hundred degrees, and the area where it doesn't shine can reach several hundred degrees. It is only possible to reach minus 200 degrees. In this situation, the equipment is most likely due to thermal differences. Produce various contractions and expansions. Very fatal effect on metals. Greatly increases the probability of equipment damage 430. Jason didn't want to. We all arrived on Mars, and communications were suddenly cut off. That would make others stupid. Tony Stark seemed insulted when he heard Jason ask. Jason. What do you mean? Everything I produce is of high quality. I have undergone special transformation. I have done physical impact and electromagnetic protection. The material is a specially adapted alloy. It can't possibly go wrong, Tony Stark said it categorically. It seems like nothing really will go wrong. Then have you installed the self-retreat device on it? No, what do you want this for? Chapter 168, Transforming Equipment, Part 2, Please Order in Full. Please customize, Tony Stark said without any concern. Jason glanced at him. What if this thing gets hit and goes off course? Your equipment should be able to be used only when it is at the focal point of gravitational waves. If I'm not mistaken, the error should be no more than a hundred meters. One hundred meters seems like a lot on Earth, because there is gravity on the Earth. Everything loses kinetic energy constantly. But it's different in space, as long as the device is slightly impacted by kinetic energy. He can keep moving without any obstruction, until the end of time. 100 meters is a blink of an eye. This incidates that, as long as something hits them, their communication equipment will be useless. Tony Stark was also stunned when he heard this. He didn't seem to have thought about this kind of thing. What Jason said is indeed possible. The universe looks very empty. But it's not that empty. There are also various small planet fragments, space junk, etc. inside. If you are unlucky, you may encounter a rain of planet fragments. That is, a meteor shower in the usual sense. The probability of their equipment being hit is still very high. Tony Stark was also stunned at this moment. Then what should we do? Jason gave Tony Stark a white look. You are really unreliable. We can only modify it a little bit to allow him to position himself. Fortunately, you didn't skimp on energy and use the arc reactor. Otherwise we won't be able to modify it. I can only be a lost person for a long time. Jason rolled his eyes at Tony Stark again and said, So many days. Pepper Potts has contacted Tony Stark many times. I'm afraid that this guy won't be able to eat well or sleep well. I don't know if Tony Stark found a girlfriend or a mother. If you really lose contact, he could imagine how furious Pepper must have been. I'm afraid I'll be sprayed to death after I go back. Tony Stark also knows that he is wrong, but he would never admit his mistake. This is just a small problem. We just need to modify it. I just didn't think of it for the moment. Okay. Let's modify it. Fortunately, I brought the equipment I should have. Jason interrupted Tony Stark and said, to prevent equipment damage. 
he actually brought a lot of spare equipment. Among them are the spare thrusters for the armor. With a little modification of the wiring, they can install a freely changeable nozzle on the device. Quickly push the equipment back to its original track, or directly offset the force of propulsion. Skynet gave us a digital model. Let Mr. Stark transform it. Jason coughed and said, Mr. Stark, let's start the transformation. Don't make such a stupid mistake again this time, otherwise we would really lose contact. Tony Stark said nothing silently start working on the model. Very fast. He redesigned the structure of the device. Four vector propulsion nozzles are installed. Ability to freely turn without restriction within the universe. After all, the universe is a three-dimensional space. There is no concept of up and down on Earth. Install a few more nozzles to be prepared. Okay, Skynet. Install this thing. We're ready to go again. Jason took a quick look and found that there was no problem. Just let Skynet start the installation. Dot. Chapter 169 Solar Storm. Part 1. Please order the full version. Please customize it. After owning a construction robot, placing the equipment is actually not difficult. After Tony Stark designed it, Skynet quickly manipulated the construction machinery to begin installation. In just a few dozen minutes, the installation is completed. Skynet, try to see if you can control it. See if you can change direction freely. Jason looked at the surveillance screen and said to Skynet, with a rigorous attitude, Jason was still ready to check it out. If only I had to wait until they were far away. The device suddenly stopped working. That's the real tragedy. Good thing. Tony Stark was very reliable these 843 times, and nothing happened to him. The equipment can operate normally. Skynet, leave a signal generator on it. Send a signal if it's completely damaged. We can send equipment for repairs. Yes, Master. Skynet controlled the industrial robot and walked out of the spacecraft again. On top of the signal equipment, another module is added. As long as the damage occurs, or the device is not in its fixed location, an alert will be sent to them. Jason will send a robot to repair it. Soon. All there. Kaga, robots that went out were taken back. Completed equipment transformation. Equipment testing has also been completed. Whether it is signal transmission or steering, the mood is very normal. Tony, the equipment you designed is pretty good. Jason looked at the full signal, nodded with satisfaction and said to Tony Stark. That's definitely it. Tony Stark felt proud. Jason was really ridiculed. Just now, Jason saw the look on Tony Stark's face. She refrained from sarcastic remarks. Skynet, start the engine. Let's continue setting off. Get into high gear. Jason opened his mouth and ordered. While flying towards Mars, the speed of the spaceship is very fast. The speed can even exceed Mach 100. At such a fast speed, it is very difficult for the spacecraft to stop. All matter has inertia. This has to do with the quality of the substance. Although Jason's spacecraft is not affected by gravity, it does not mean that it is not affected by inertia. Therefore, when stopping the operating equipment, the spacecraft has to slow down for a long time. Before, Tony Stark started to slow down long in advance. Only then can it stop exactly where it is needs to be. Now I want to speed up again. Naturally, it also requires a process. It would take them about half an hour to accelerate to the highest speed the spacecraft could sustain. Then rely on inertia to continue flying. Avoid the disintegration of the spacecraft caused by excessive speed. After arranging everything, Jason returned to the lab again. Experiment while enjoying the perfect sunbathe. Unknowingly, Jason was silent. Straight was awakened by a siren. Wait until Jason reacts. The lab is already buzzing with alarms. Jason asked calmly without panicking. Skynet, what happened? Master. We detected a strong solar storm 50,000 miles in front of us. We may encounter it. Solar storm? Jason was a little depressed when he heard this. He suspected that he had not read the almanac before going out. This space journey was really not smooth. They can encounter solar storms. Solar storms are caused by sudden outbursts of the solar atmosphere. Dot. Chapter 169 Solar Storm, Part 2, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. Then it ejects a stream of high-energy charged particles, or plasma a phenomenon of super-strong ionizing radiation. These substances are very destructive, especially for electronic equipment, it is really a devastating blow. After reaching the Earth, even if there is obstruction by the atmosphere, it can still cause signal anomalies, power outages and other damage. For equipment in space, the destructive power is even more astonishing. A large part of the space debris floating outside the Earth is composed of solar storms. But Jason is also really unlucky. Solar storms aren't all that nice met. First, the energy explosion inside the sun will occur at an uncertain time, like a nuclear explosion. They can't tell when it will explode. It was really unlucky to meet him. Secondly, even if the sun's energy explodes, it is not a full-scale explosion of the entire sun. Rather, it is a temporary outbreak in a certain area. The surface of the sun is so big. There are also many directions in which it can spread. It stands to reason. Navigating in space. The chance of encountering such a thing is very low. He now feels that the solar storm may be targeting him. Skynet, is there any possibility of evasion? Jason asked, scratching his head in annoyance. The scale of solar storms is very large. There is no possibility of escape. It's too late to break now. Unfortunately, 
we have to face this storm head on, Skynet said in a very calm voice. Hearing this, Jason scratched his head in pain. He didn't know how much damage his equipment would be damaged this time. I'm afraid the armor will all be damaged to a certain extent. It's really very troublesome. Well, after sighing, Jason spoke. Notify passengers that the escape hatch is difficult to enter. Wait until the storm passes before you come out. The escape capsule on the spacecraft has a very thick lead sandwich inside. It is to cope with the extreme cosmic environment. The resources inside are enough to survive for a long time. It's not impossible for Jason to push them back to Earth with his suit. Now when encountering such a situation, it is very normal for them to go inside and take refuge. Skynet information has just been released. Tony Stark sent a communication request. As soon as Jason connected, Tony Stark's confused voice came from over there. Jason. What happened? Why did I hear the evacuation message just after I woke up? Dot please give me flowers. We're about to have a solar storm. Silence is required throughout the ship. You cannot withstand the high energy particle flow in the solar storm. Let's get into the escape pod. Jason explained patiently to Tony Stark. I'm afraid that he will cause trouble from here. Why are we so unlucky? Tony Stark didn't say anything. He just complained. Who says it isn't? Who could imagine such a thing? Jason was also a little helpless. Hurry up and get into the escape cabin. All equipment on the spacecraft will remain silent for a while. Cut off all sources of energy. When facing solar storms, even with protection, there is no guarantee that the equipment will be 100% available. He could only shut down the spacecraft's energy system. Stop all equipment. Minimize the damage of high energy particle flow to electronic equipment. Tony Stark hears this. After muttering twice. He went in obediently. Jason walked from the laboratory to the cockpit. Get ready for the impact of the solar storm. Dot. Chapter 170 Facing the Storm. Part 1. Please order in full. Please customize. Jason does inside the cockpit, looking out the porthole. In a distant place, a golden ocean has appeared. Jason knows. These are high energy particles emitted by the sun. Because the universe is very dark, this golden light appears very dazzling. Even if I don't know how far away it is, Jason could see that thing. And Jason could feel it. The surrounding area of his body gradually became hot. The hairs on the skin stood up. This is a sign that the concentration of surrounding gamma rays is slowly rising. It's very obvious in him. Skynet, have they entered the escape cabin? Jason frowned and asked. If ordinary people don't enter the escape cabin at this time, it's very dangerous. There is lead insulation on the outside. The gamma ray index inside is still off the charts. This is still not a direct encounter with a solar storm. If you are in a storm, ordinary people in this kind of environment would not end up much better than death. But not everyone can be like the Fantastic Four. A person who experienced a solar storm and became super able. Most people will experience various pains of cell failure and then die. Even Tony Stark who has gone through extremist strengthening will not have many surprises. Fortunately. These people don't make any mistakes in matters of life and death. They all entered the escape cabin honestly. Master, they have entered the escape cabin. Should the escape hatch be closed? Skynet's calm tone sounded again. Seal the escape hatch, Jason said. This is to protect Tony and the others. In order to prevent the escape hatch from being opened due to some accident, those in the escape pod will be locked. It can only be opened manually. Jason will open the escape capsule and let them out after experiencing the solar storm. The escape capsule is closed and the life support system is online. A wired connection has been established. Do you want to talk to the interior of the escape cabin? Dan Wang's voice was still a little calm, sounding unusually calm. No need, let them stay inside. Don't mess with me, I'm talking about you Tony Stark. Exit the channel immediately, or I will throw you out. Okay, okay, don't be angry. I just wanted to see if you were still alive. What a monster. Tony Stark was amazed for a long time. Hang up the phone. Tony Stark, who has the third level clearance of the spacecraft can naturally invade the open communication channel. All this was his tacit approval. Tony Stark guy, it would be really weird if you didn't do something. Okay Skynet, these people are honest. Shut down the energy system. Shut down any mechanical devices. You should also prepare to log off, Jason said. Although artificial intelligence will not be affected by high energy particle storms. But Skynet's carrier will. Artificial intelligence still relies on 2.7 pieces of hardware equipment. It just so happens that high energy particles are very good at damaging hardware devices. Master. My data core will not be damaged. I can stay with you. Dan Wang's voice sounded very emotional. Need not. This is not a separation of life and death. When the solar storm passes, we will be able to meet soon. Chapter 170 Facing the Storm. Part 2. Please order in full. Please customize. Jason smiled and said. All right. Dan Wang's voice was full of reluctance. But after Jason finished speaking, Skynet still shut down communications. The cockpit instantly dimmed. After the energy system is shut down, all equipment is shut down. The entire spacecraft seemed to be dead. It just relies on inertia to constantly move in the direction of the solar storm. In this case, it's hard for Jason to know the exact time. You can only roughly estimate the time by relying on the golden light that is constantly approaching. I don't know how much time has passed. The golden light is getting closer and closer. 
The entire cockpit was illuminated like daylight. Jason had to close his eyes. A large amount of light, even after being weakened by the portholes, is still very dazzling. Jason just stared. I felt my eyes sting and shed tears constantly. He quickly closed his eyes. The intensity of this light is probably no different from the light emitted by a nuclear explosion. Ordinary people may take one look at it and the entire cornea of their eyes may be directly burned in an instant. Fortunately, Jason's body has strengthened. It's just that my eyes feel a little uncomfortable. Even without using your eyes, Jason could also feel that he was getting closer to the solar storm. Nothing else. His body felt getting hotter and hotter. You may still be taking a warm bath at first. Later it turned into a hot bath, and then directly into boiling water. His skin tingled a little. Slowly. He even felt that all the muscles in his body were twitching. It brought him extreme pain. It feels like someone is using an old soldering iron to burn your muscles all over. It is 10,000 times more intense than the severe pain that occurs after strenuous exercise. The expression on Jason's face was distorted. But Jason still didn't say anything. He knew that this was an accident. It is also a creation. Opportunities like this to strengthen your body are rare. The concentration of gamma rays in solar storms is probably as substantial as the real thing. There will never be such an environment on Earth. He didn't dare to go near the sun. If you are not careful, you will be directly captured by the sun's gravity. Attract the sun, not even the ashes will be left. If not for this good opportunity, he had already entered the escape pod directly. Who hasn't run out to face the solar storm? Isn't that crazy? Feel your muscles being torn apart while constantly growing. Jason endured the pain with a sense of excitement. The special alloy counted up in front of him was crushed into a piece of scrap metal. I don't know how long it took. It was so long that Jason felt like he couldn't hold on any longer. He suddenly felt that the heat that was constantly transforming his body suddenly began to slowly subside. Jason perked up. He knew that this was the phenomenon that the spacecraft was about to escape from the storm. I've been waiting for I don't know how long. The heat 960 around his body has almost disappeared. Jason then opened his eyes. Then, saw a mess. The console in front of me was completely scrapped. It is full of various handprints and fingerprints. The most dangerous place is the porthole. Jason saw a big fist mark somewhere. If he was using more force at that time, the glass may be broken directly. By then, he may die in space, although the body is very strong. But he still needs oxygen to survive. Jason was frightened when he thought of this. Then there was a wry smile on his face. This time I want to repair the spaceship, but it's a big project. Dot. Chapter 171, Heavy Losses, Part 1 Please order in full, please customize. Jason never imagined that one day, his spaceship would be destroyed like this. There are no accidents such as sunstorms, small planet impacts, etc. Instead, he was ruined by himself. Looking at the almost messy cab in front of him, Jason felt like crying. Oh, we can only repair it slowly. The only thing worth celebrating is that the spacecraft has not leaked yet. Jason just finished speaking his self-comfort words. I heard a popping sound, followed by a suction force. Jason hurriedly found the repair gel. Block this thing quickly. Then he breathed a long sigh of relief. But he didn't dare to say anything. Completed repairs to the spacecraft. Jason struggled to open the already shape-shifting airtight hatch. Then he walked into the energy cabin and began to check the energy of the spacecraft. Good thing. The spacecraft's energy cabin has undergone various protections. The spacecraft's energy source was not damaged. Jason restarted the reactor as a source of energy. Jason pressed a few buttons manually. The lights inside the energy cabin flickered twice. Then it lit up. Skynet's voice also sounded from the side. Master, long time no see tilde. Skynet. Long time no see. Jason said hello. The equipment used for Skynet's main body is also inside the energy warehouse. With the restart of the energy warehouse, Skynet naturally recovered. Skynet, conduct a self-inspection of a spacecraft. Look how much damage is done to the ship. It's the young master. Self-testing in progress. Detection completed. 40% of the spacecraft is damaged. A large number of lines suffered short circuits, and some equipment was completely out of service. Small gas leaks were discovered, and the oxygen concentration inside the spacecraft decreased. Do you want to re-enable the oxygen circulation device? Start it, Jason said somewhat seriously. He had just read the receipt Skynet gave him. In addition to the serious damage to the cockpit, the damage to key equipment elsewhere was not so serious. Almost all important equipment cabins have received electromagnetic protection. The damage to various equipment was not serious. It's just that some lines will produce some slight short circuits. There is no need to worry about gas leakage. Various airtight doors are used inside the spacecraft, at most. It's just a gas leak and loss of pressure in a single room, which is not a big problem, a real loss. In fact, they are animals brought by Jason from Earth. What is already dead cannot die anymore. I dare not eat it either. It can only be thrown away and become space junk. It can be said to be a very heavy loss. Skynet, how many maintenance robots are there online? There are still dozens of pieces, and the others cannot be used temporarily. Skynet's voice was somewhat distorted. This is the reason why the speaker is affected by electromagnetic signals. Jason didn't care either. You start repairing it. 
giving priority to the rooms with gas leaks. Mozo, there isn't much gas left on the spacecraft, Jason said. Air is a non-renewable resource in space. Even an oxygen circulation device doesn't work. A high oxygen environment can indeed make people very comfortable. But if the amount of oxygen is too high, humans can also suffer from oxygen poisoning. To avoid this situation Pong, in the air of the spaceship, there are also many other gas components. Oxygen is very simple and can be obtained by electrolyzing water. Dot. Chapter 171, Heavy Losses, Part 2, Please Order in Full, Please Customize, Other Gases Are Very Troublesome, There Is No Reliable Source Environment At All, Especially Nitrogen Accounts For 70% Of The Atmosphere, Very Difficult To Find In Space, If Too Much Gas Is Consumed In The Spacecraft, Something Is Really Going To Happen, Under Jason's Orders, Skynet Began To Control The Armor To Repair The Spacecraft, Although After Various Weldings, some parts of the spacecraft are definitely not as strong as before. But there is nothing he can do now. I can only make do with it. Anyway, they are already halfway to Mars. There are no dense small planet belts on the road, so there shouldn't be any big problems. 830 asked Skynet to slowly repair the equipment. Jason started walking towards the escape pod and letting the passengers out. Manually opened several airtight doors along the way. He just walked to the front of the escape cabin. He opened the sealed escape cabin door with his bare hands. This kind of thing that is very difficult for ordinary people can be solved with one hand. Hear him open the door. The people in the escape capsule came out. It's Tony Stark. Wow, it's finally over. I was bored to death in there. Jason glanced over at Tony Stark and saw that he wasn't blushing or out of breath. Except for being a little depressed. No problem. Just nodded. It seems that the protection ability of the escape cabin is still very strong. After looking at the health conditions of several other people, there were no major problems. Jason relaxed. Stop complaining Tony. Take them to the infirmary. Get your body checked. Some things are not visible on the surface. If awakening comes and you find that your little brother has turned into stone, don't blame me for not warning you. Tony Stark's expression suddenly changed when he heard this. He walked quickly towards the medical room. Mr. Tom, after checking your health, prepare some nutritious meals for everyone. It's good for your health. Yes. Master, Tom said with a salute. Tom was trained by the Wayne family themselves. The whole family works at, Tkfi, Wayne's house. The level of loyalty is very high. The so-called nutritious meal is actually similar to the green juice Tony Stark drank when he was suffering from calcium poisoning. Very unpleasant to drink. But it can neutralize radioactive substances inside the body. Very good for health. Before leaving the earth, he took a lot with him. For everyone's health. He could only let them drink it. Even Tony Stark could hold his nose and drink it. I think a few members would have no complaints. Fool Tony Stark away. He walked directly into the cockpit. At the same time, let Skynet start manipulating robots to repair this place. The cockpit is the core of the spacecraft. A lot of important equipment is in it, such as communications, radar, weapons operating systems, etc. Although Skynet can serve as the center of the spacecraft and maintain the basic operation of a spacecraft, but in some professional stuff, without sufficient hardware support, Skynet cannot function. For example, the radar fire control module. This is a very professional combination of hardware and software equipment. They are basically the eyes of the spaceship. So after fixing the gas leak, the first thing to solve is the cockpit problem. Otherwise, the spaceship is equivalent to a blind man in the universe. Even if there is a huge amount of meteorite ahead, they can't see it. This is a very dangerous thing in the universe. It is easy for the boat to be destroyed and people to be killed. Jason didn't want to die so unclearly. Dot. Chapter 172 Gene Mutation, Part 1. Please order the full version. Please customize. Jason's spacecraft has been stuck in place for three or four days. After discovering damage to the radar system, Jason immediately braked the spacecraft. After a period of slowing down, the spacecraft successfully stopped in place. Then, Jason started busy repair work. Even Tony Stark has joined in. Although Tony is arrogant, but in terms of technology, he is definitely second to none. He is a very powerful engineer. And he is very serious when doing his work. Many modifications on the spacecraft were proposed by him. Now he is maintaining extraordinary lines. For a spaceship, the circuit system is equivalent to human blood vessels. It's something very important. Without this thing, the spacecraft cannot operate normally. But things like solar storms can cause very serious damage to circuits. Various high-energy particles electric current. Crazy influx into the circuit. It is equivalent to passing high-pressure water into human blood vessels although it is also a liquid. But the work performed is different. Not only did the spacecraft's circuits suffer serious damage, it also caused pollution. Very troublesome. Good thing. This situation was taken into consideration when designing the spacecraft. Repair is not a hassle either. God knows why I'm doing this. Tony Stark complained to Jason over and over while holding a piece of equipment to check the electrical system of the spacecraft. If you don't do something like this, you might die here. The great Tony Stark may become an unknown corpse floating in space. So, 
Mr. Tony Stark. Work hard. Jason shrugged and began to work hard to dismantle it to check the wiring inside the spacecraft. The wiring had to be taken out from inside the spacecraft. Originally, there was special equipment to do this. Unfortunately, the device didn't survive the solar storm. The most important chip directly becomes a black silicon wafer. Jason can only do it himself. Fortunately it wasn't very difficult for him. Under Jason's amazing power, there was no difference between the fragile metal and the earth. When Tony Stark saw it for the first time, he exclaimed monster, dot 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 please give me flowers. Slowly, he got used to it. After all, he has seen the world. There is nothing so annoying about people with super abilities. Jason pulled the wires out of the ship. Tony Stark inspects repairs in the back. Soon, under the command of Skynet, they completed the overhaul of the spacecraft's wiring. Then they replaced various modules above the cockpit. The cockpit was also renovated. It's just that compared to the previous simple and hardcore science fiction style. The current cockpit can only be described as horrible. It looked like it had been chewed by a dog. Fortunately, it can still be used. When Jason plans to go to Mars, he must overhaul the spacecraft in the spaceport. Otherwise, it will really affect the user experience. I stayed for a few days as planned. They just finished repairing the spacecraft together. Sit in the cockpit. Jason looked at the indicator light that everything was okay. Really relieved. But out of caution. He still spoke. Skynet. Check to make sure there are no problems with the spacecraft. Start the self-test program. Chapter 172 Gene Mutation, Part 2. Please order the full version. Please customize. The energy system is operating normally. The main system of the spacecraft is operating normally. The oxygen production module of the spacecraft is normal. Self-examination completed. Master, except for a few offline units, everything is normal on the spacecraft. It's enough to support our normal operations. Congratulations, young master. Jason nodded. Okay, now that everything is back to normal, let's go. 280 If we stay for a few more days, we may miss the time to land on Mars. Mars doesn't just stay put. Rather, it is to be accompanied by the main fixed star. The Sunday constantly orbiting within the solar system. If they can't land on Mars by the deadline, Mars may be getting further and further away from the Earth. Their journey will increase accordingly. In that case, the situation would be very bad. There might be wasted on this long journey. So as soon as Jason repaired the spacecraft, he set off eagerly. Recorrect course. Recalculated Mars trajectory. Correction of navigational access. The main engine is fully charged. Energy system ignition completed. Master, Mr. Stark, we are leaving. Skynet said something and the spacecraft began to accelerate. Soon, Jason felt the scenery around him begin to change. There is definitely no other change in this scenery. After all, the scenery in the universe is the same, and it is difficult to see any changes. Jason just noticed some signs because of his keen sense. Oh my god, we're finally going. Hopefully we won't run into any more problems. Tony Stark holds a glass of red wine. The bottle cap opened with a soft bang sound. I don't think you're worried at all. Are you actually in the mood to drink now? Jason was a little helpless. Tony Stark guy. It's really not easy to live to such an old age. It's all stained with wine and sex. Still doing this every day. Aren't you afraid of kidney deficiency? Would you like a drink? Tony raised the glass of wine in his hand and said, forget it, I don't need it. Jason raised his hand. He rarely drinks alcohol, like cigarettes also has its own characteristics. Some people may like the drowsy feeling, but Jason wasn't among those people. He prefers the feeling of having everything under control. As for Tony's wine, he declined to know. In the later period, Tony Stark also stopped drinking, and he's not even looking for a woman. Truly transformed from a playboy to a hero. This is why people like Tony Stark. Captain America is great, but there are really not many people in the world who can do what he does, without the mental induction of the super soldier serum. Can you take the initiative to block grenades for your comrades? This is really not something that ordinary people can do. What's more, when he was weak, he was bullied almost every day. Jason naturally hopes that there will be more and more people like Captain America in 2.3. He himself cannot become such a person. It's Tony Stark, a guy with all kinds of evil. He may also want to imitate it. This is also the reason why he is willing to be with Tony Stark. After all, birds of a feather flock together. Jason also smiled when he thought of this. It turns out that there is still a playboy living deep in his heart. Dot. Chapter 173 Plant Mutation, Part 1. Please order the full version. Please customize. In the next few days, Jason's was very calm. The universe is very quiet, and during their journey, they were not unlucky enough to encounter any major disasters like solar storms. The spacecraft has been flying towards Mars according to the predetermined trajectory. If this continues, they will reach Mars after sailing for a period of time. Then Jason can relax a little more. Either in a spaceport on Mars, it is still an ecological base on the ground. He can find a place to rest comfortably. But God did not fulfill his wish. Jason's plan for peace finally came to nothing. On this day, Jason was enjoying a sunbath in the laboratory. Next to it is a dead lamb that has been exposed to radiation. 
Now it has been roasted into lamb chops by Tom, because it contains a high degree of radiation. No one else can eat it. Jason can only enjoy it by himself. Although the high energy rays in the solar storm killed these animals, they did not damage their flesh much. Instead, the cell structure is highly damaged. The mutton becomes softer and glutinous. It tastes better. This delicious food has always made Tony Stark very jealous. This is the only source of fresh meat on the ship. He had coveted it for a long time. But now, Jason can only enjoy it by himself, enjoying sunbathing and eating delicious food. This is simply a fairy-like life. Pity. Jason did not enjoy a peaceful life for long. Skynet's voice rang next to him. Master, there is a sudden high energy reaction in the plant resting room. I have not detected any anomalies. You'd better go over and take a look. Jason heard this and said lazily. Is the sensor malfunctioning? After the solar storm, some of the equipment was indeed a little less sensitive. It's very normal for abnormal situations to happen. You just recalibrate it. Jason wasn't impressed either. Some precision equipment may cause errors if it is slightly bumped. What's more, after experiencing a devastating energy storm like a solar storm, solar storms are likely to have fatal effects on equipment. Jason plans to go to Mars. Just overhaul the spacecraft again. Replace all the above equipment. Now various new equipment on Mars have begun to be built in factories. As long as he reaches Mars, he can quickly renovate the spacecraft. Jason was still thinking about something. Skynet spoke. Master, I'm afraid things are not that simple. I have recalibrated the testing equipment. I'm afraid this is not an accident. And now the energy index is still climbing. If you don't check carefully, an explosion may occur. What explosion? When Jason heard this, he immediately woke up from his laziness. Rubbing his face, Jason asked. What's the specific situation? According to my guess, there seems to be something wrong with the original strain of extremists you brought. How come? The expression on Jason's face was a little surprised. He did remember. These plants are very peaceful. At the beginning, Jason paid a little attention. I want to see if this thing can produce some beneficial genetic changes. But he found out later. Gene mutation is really unreliable. Dot. Chapter 173 Plant Mutation, Part 2. Please order the full version. Please customize. A person like Spider-Man, who can instantly become Spider-Man when bitten is simply a child of destiny. Another person might have collapsed and died long ago. These plants are like ordinary people without any luck. No genetic mutation occurs at all. Disappointed Jason for a long time. After all, he still hopes that this thing can bring him some surprises. But it didn't happen. Did not expect. Now this thing actually has some movement. There is such a strong high energy reaction. What kind of trouble is this? To know, according to Skynet's standards, its minimum energy index is probably equivalent to the explosion equivalent of several kilograms of TNT, although it does not enjoy the nuclear weapons with hundreds of millions of equivalents at every turn, but a few kilograms. It's enough to blow up a two-story building. Found this kind of thing in the laboratory. Jason thought he'd better go take a look. Stand up. Jason didn't hesitate at all and walked directly to the rest room. Open the airtight door. A plant of huge amounts of money appeared in front of Jason. This thing looks like the landscape trees that can be seen everywhere on the street. But there aren't that many tree trunks. The leaves look very cat-like, looking like large banana trees in the tropical rainforest. Although it seems very ordinary. But as soon as Jason saw this thing, you can feel a sense of danger in the veins of leaves. He could also see a dim red light flashing. It looks very dangerous. Jason even had a feeling. If this thing is allowed to explode, he may not die or be seriously injured. King of Heaven. This thing is the original strain of extremist Tilda. Why has it changed so much? Jason asked in surprise. Master, this plant must have grown suddenly, according to monitoring. The plant died within just a few minutes. It's several times bigger. It's incredible, Skynet said. It's really incredible. Now we need to think about what to do about it, Jason said with a headache. This thing suddenly mutated. He was suddenly confused, and the risk is very high. If it is not handled well, it will be really dangerous. So now he is in great trouble, Skynet. Can you analyze its energy model? If there is an explosion, this thing should have a certain structure, Jason asked. Things like explosions don't happen casually. Huge amounts of energy must be erupted in a confined space. Something much like gunpowder. If you set it on fire in an open space, it is generally impossible to explode. This is because there are no conditions for an explosion to occur. Although the plant resting room is not big, it is not too small either. Want to explode. The energy that bursts out in an instant must be very high. He was curious. How much energy can this thing emit? The energy index cannot be observed specifically. But we still haven't reached the peak yet. The energy index is still growing slowly. Jason had a headache after hearing this. What about the source of energy? This thing's technological energy growth must have an energy source. It cannot fail to comply with the law of conservation of energy. Jason asked somewhat depressedly. Master, according to my guess, the energy source is likely to come from various high energy rays. The plant may have the ability to absorb various rays. Skynet's voice spoke slowly. Jason's expression changed. That's really amazing. Chapter 174. Explosive Compound. Part 1. Please order the full version. 
Please customize. High energy rays are a very magical thing. There is an unusually large variety, from the decay rays emitted by radioactive elements to the X-rays used in hospitals. They are all a type of high energy rays. The types of rays that humans have discovered are only a small part. There are fewer to take advantage of. Being able to absorb high energy rays is simply a legend. Now Jason has witnessed a legend. Absorbing high energy rays is impossible. Jason scratched his head. Photosynthesis of plants is nothing more than the use of light energy as some kind of chemical garden. To carry out energy combination reactions, it's not really absorbing sunlight. Now this plant in front of him. Directly absorb the energy of high energy rays and use it for your own use. If Jason can research it, he will be able to harvest a very powerful 740 technology. No matter whether it's true or not, let's do some research first before talking. Skynet, move the mobile protection module over. This thing should calm this thing down a little bit, Jason said. Since this plant is absorbing high energy rays, now he only needs to cut off the source of high energy rays here. The activity of this plant is naturally not that high. He can directly use blocking reagents. Cut off the energy circuit in a certain leaf vein. Cut certain plant samples for study. Plants are plants after all. CGFD, may be somewhat sensitive to the outside world, but it was just a stress reaction like Mimosa. There is no real only way. A moment of Jason's thinking. Skynet has begun to operate the protective modules outside the spacecraft. There is always a protective module outside the spacecraft. It is to provide certain protection capabilities to necessary places at critical times. He put a lot of thought into this slider. Now it is indeed useful. After a slight buzzing sound, Skynet's voice rang. The mobile protection module has been launched. The content of high energy rays continues to decrease. Jason nodded. Now all you have to do is wait. Test the cell viability of the original virus strain. See if the energy index is going down. Jason ordered. The energy index continues to decline. It looks like our strategy is working. Jason had already seen it without Skynet opening his mouth. The leaves of the original extremist plant have drooped. It looks like a plant that has been exposed to the sun in summer. Seems a little wilted. His requirements should be met soon. Waited for a long time. The light on the veins of this plant has basically disappeared. Only then did Jason get closer. There was no sense of danger this time. The original strain of extremis seems to be a normal plant. Skynet, give me that bottle of five times the concentration of blocking solution. Jason said, just in case. He used increasing concentrations of blocking solutions. Block material exchange within plants. Able to safely remove a blade from above. He took a bottle of isolation solution from the armor's hand. Jason carefully poured it on top of the plant. A flash of red light flashed. Fortunately, there was no explosion in the end. Jason felt relieved. Skynet, remember to remind me next time to increase the concentration of the isolation solution again. Something almost happened just now. Jason carefully placed the leaves in the petri dish. Dot. Chapter 174, Explosive Compound, Part 2, Please Order in Full. Please customize. Wipe the cold sweat on his forehead. I was so nervous just now. Just in case something goes wrong. Maybe it really exploded. Looking at the leaves in the preservation solution. Jason was a little happy. It's worth taking such a big risk. At least we have research materials. He can feel it. Even if it's an insignificant leaf. There is still a lot of energy contained in it. And, Jason thinks, as long as it is subject to a violent collision, this leaf will definitely explode. This thing seems to be very sensitive. Like the mercury fulminate used in ammunition primers, sparks will be generated upon impact. This thing will explode after impact. Fortunately, the solution in the petri dish can stabilize the plant cell structure inside it. Avoid some accidents. Skynet, the high energy rays in this room are for guidance. I'll talk about it after I study it. After saying that. Jason carefully walked into the laboratory holding the petri dish. Use a scalpel to carefully remove a piece of tissue from the blade. Jason created a slide. Then put it under a microscope and observe it carefully. Observe the plant's tissue. No need for a particularly high magnification microscope. I just be able to observe the cell structure inside the plant. In Jason's opinion, looking through the microscope, Jason saw a surprising sight. The cells of this plant are different from other plants. The biggest difference in morphology between plant cells and animal cells. That is, Plant cells have a cell wall composed of cutin, able to protect internal plant cells. But the original strain of extremis, after mutation, the cell wall changes. The walls of its keratinocytes seem to have a touch of gold. It seems to have become unusually strong. Jason finally understood why this thing gave him a dangerous feeling. Each cell is equivalent to a small bomb. Just explode. Exploding together can produce amazing power. No wonder he couldn't feel the danger. Shaked his head. Jason looked carefully again. A cell can be said to be complicated or simple. The nucleus cytoplasm, cell wall, and organelles make up a plant cell. Originally, the cytoplasm of plants should be transparent. There is some kind of biological solution in this, used to protect organelles inside cells and provide nutrients. Dot 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 please give me flowers. But the cell fluid of the original strain of extremis is golden, and it reveals some crystal clarity. Some look like yellow honey. It looks very nice. 
But Jason knew, there are huge amounts of energy in this. It's some kind of explosive substance. These cellular fluids. I'm afraid it has higher explosive energy than TNT. The most commonly used high explosive substance by humans. Point zero. Very dangerous. But the amazing thing is, this substance is capable of more than just huge amounts of explosions. It can still provide energy to the organelles inside the cell. Jason can only say that the world is so big and full of wonders. Skynet, take a sample of some cell fluid and test it. There are some substances in there. If it can make a sound explosion, its chemical structure should be very special. Jason spoke, continued to look at the organelles inside the cell. Compared to these explosive substances, he was interested in the organelles that produce these substances. Explosives research is booming. It's just another kind of TNT. The other mysteries of plant cells are truly valuable. Dot. Chapter 175 Photosynthesis Part 1 Please order in full. Please customize. Plant cells are sometimes very magical, like chloroplasts. It took hundreds of years for human civilization to develop ways to utilize solar energy. But greenery, as early as when it was born, it has already learned to use solar energy. The photons emitted by the sun pass through and shine on the surface of green plants. Chloroplasts produce enough chlorophyll. Through these chlorophylls, under the catalysis of solar energy, a large amount of A780 TP is generated to provide energy to plants. This process is very magical. Plants evolve by themselves, utilizing the most powerful energy in the fixed star system. Extremis cells are even more magical. Its chloroplasts have mutated to a certain extent. Various forms of chemical elements were produced. Under the stimulation of these chemical elements, various high energy rays are converted into energy. A large amount of explosive phosphoric acid is then generated. This is the origin of the explosive material in the cytoplasm. All the high energy explosives humans have now, almost all have nitric acid groups amino groups or carbon groups. For example, TNT is 2463 nitrotoluene. The main component of C4 explosive is polyisobutylene. The main component of nitroglycerin, which can be used as a medicine to treat heart disease, is glycerol trinitrate. There are many compounds similar to these explosives. The explosives studied by humans seem to contain these ingredients. Although phosphoric acid has also been considered, but most of the time, because of its lack of explosiveness, it was not taken seriously. Jason didn't expect that. One day, he will encounter a phosphate explosive made by a creature itself. Looking at the test results given by Skynet, Jason was amazed. I didn't expect extremists to undergo such a change. Sure enough, phosphoric acid can also burst out enough energy. Unfortunately, it's of no use. Jason shook his head regretfully. My favorite use of this thing is probably to play with it. No matter how powerful the explosives are, they are not as powerful as nuclear weapons. He is not an agent at this moment or anything. Some conventional explosives are needed to prop up the facade. This new type of explosive. The biggest troll is probably that it can be used by terrorists to get past security checks and then cause damage. Jason is not a psychopath. I won't let these things out. What interests him most? In fact, it is a reaction that occurs inside the chloroplast to absorb high energy rays. If he really researched this kind of thing. Very useful. For example, it is used on the armor of spaceships. It can completely replace the status of lead protective armor. Maybe it can also be used to provide energy to the spacecraft. For a ship with an arc reactor, it may not be of much use. But what if it is used in small devices such as nanorobots? As long as there is light, the equipment can run forever. Or combined with vibranium. Captain America's vibranium shield is capable of energy absorbing. The more energy is absorbed, 1.4 the stronger the metal. If you combine the two, couldn't he get a metal that would become stronger when exposed to the sun? This kind of metal can grow over time. More and more solid. The effect is very big. Thinking of this, Jason became even more excited. Skynet. Have you analyzed its operating model? There is a difference between the energy used in living things and the energy used in steel. Dot. Chapter 175 Photosynthesis Part 2 Please order in full. Please customize. How humans use solar energy. It is through the photovoltaic effect that hole and electron pairs are generated inside the silicon base material. This produces a fixed electric current. That is, in the usual sense, converting light energy into electrical energy. ATP in living things is different. This thing is essentially a phosphate tree. Phosphoric acid pairs release energy by breaking down chemical bonds. This is also the reason why humans can move. This is essentially a kind of chemical energy. It's about the same energy as gasoline. It is not easy to convert this energy into electrical energy that humans can use. Especially if you don't understand the principle at all. For general wide synthesis, the steps are actually not difficult. After chloroplasts absorb light, under the catalysis of light and enzymes, phosphorylation and carbon assimilation of carbon dioxide and water occur inside the plant, generate phosphate bonds. The reaction in the original strain of extremis is a hundred times more complex than that of ordinary plants. This plant can absorb a wide variety of high energy rays. This is not the same as sunlight, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, 
and gamma rays are three types of rays with completely different wavelengths and energies, not to mention other high energy particle rays. How do plant cells transform these different substances? Also, what exactly are the catalytic enzymes inside plants? These are unknown, so this makes Skynet's simulation very difficult to play. Simulation calculations are based on sufficient data, but it's not about predicting the future. Skynet does not have enough data to support it, and it is impossible to calculate it. Master, without enough sample support, we may not be able to calculate the corresponding data model. I can only simulate the conversion model of sunlight. It's simply not possible to do in-depth simulations. Jason waved his hand when he heard this. Okay, I get it. It's not your fault. I will conduct the experiment myself. But this seems a bit troublesome. Jason rubbed his forehead. The types of high energy rays may exceed ordinary people's imagination. But said gamma is suspected. Just as humans have discovered, there are three types of gamma rays with different wavelengths. Not to mention what humans haven't been able to discover. Plus other types of rays. If this is an experiment one by one, how long will it last? Thinking of this, Jason got a headache. No. Why should I experiment on my own? Isn't there a ready-made coolie? Jason patted his head and said. He is not the only scientist on this spaceship. There is also Tony Stark who has a lot of free time every day. Isn't this guy just a ready-made coolie? Think of this. A bright smile appeared on Jason's face. Tony Stark is so boring. He is a friend. I really see it in my eyes and feel anxious in my heart. If this continues, isn't Tony Stark depraved? What should I do if I have any psychological problems? Isn't this his responsibility as captain? This is not nonsense. On a voyage ship or spaceship, the most important thing is the psychiatrist. Whether it is a submarine or aircraft carrier, there is always a psychologist on board. Jason left in a hurry and did not find a psychiatrist. If Tony Stark has psychological problems, it will really be a loss for humanity. He couldn't let this happen. The best way is to find something for him to do. Once people get busy, I'm not in the mood to think about it anymore. Think of this. A bright smile appeared on Jason's face. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.